of July. And Baby Doll has arrived. And Patrice O'Neill has uh, entered the studio. So far, we've tried the uh, the duck feet. Duck feet didn't go over well. A lot of people uh, spitting it out, gagging. E-Rock has it caught in between his teeth. <laughs> and by the way, quickly, Patrice, just noticing out of nowhere, Jill Nicolini. He goes, Ooh, whoa, who is that girl? She's gorgeous. You had no yeah. idea? I didn't even know. We dedicated a TV to her, see? Jill TV. Jill TV, that's How's Jill it? Nicolini. How's it's it? all right, man. We, she's all right. When she's yeah. on TV, we refuse to change the channel. She looks a mess, too. Like, she looks like she got some problems. Yeah. Dude, that, we love her because of that. It looks like she's been out at some Long Island bar or yeah, something she's just, she's all night. Really well. She looks good, man. I didn't. Yeah. Sorry, but I didn't. No, <laughs> she's. You want to see her new like there? Her That's there her new. She is. <laughs> she got a job? Yeah. She got a <laughs> like, job. Like informing people and stuff. Isn't that great? It's amazing, man. She well, slow down. She does the traffic. Yeah. Still, she has a job where it's important. Somebody, it's an important job. They used to have her in the helicopter. Until they realize, why are we... She's got great <laughs> assets on her. Let's sit her down at a desk or have her stand up. She just points out where she's caused accidents. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like and then, over here on the Gowanus. And <laughs> who's, who's this this middle act who has See, a follower? See, this is all the stuff we're talking about. Oh, oh we, really? We, you already... Oh, we oh, are so, so sorry. No, 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 no this, this is good, good actually. Patrice, it's, it's sort of like you're, you know, you're uh, uh, giving us some... Uh, I, it, they got a little. T I mean, and I, she's okay. But yeah. well, she, Jill is forcing her to dress sexier. She never showed no, cleavage like now that. She's now fine. she got it. Oh, and a now little turkey got, neck. And she's her, tanning. <laughs> she's tanning and wearing like low cut outfits just to try to keep up with Jill, the young girl. And she's looking like a poor man's Laura Dern. Remember? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Laura uh, Dern. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> From uh, Jurassic Park uh, fame, yeah, and but this other chick is is uh wow, like not even like sexy, but she's uh, on another level of like why she shouldn't even be on the news. No, no, she's gorgeous, yeah, and she's then wonderful. this poor thing got to come on and like right after the traffic and do the weather. And... Oh, she always gives her a little look to the side, like thanks, <laughs> yeah. and try to prove that she got the job by uh you know having credentials. <laughs> yeah, I was a meteorologist. I went to meteorology school. <laughs> But well, we got it all figured out. We think Jill's going to be taking her job eventually. Yeah. It, it, they got her out of the helicopter. Now she's in the studio. She does the longest traffic report in local TV. Like Oh, G Jill Nicolini. Yeah, uh, everyone yeah. else's traffic is two seconds. Hers is about five minutes long. She's talking about side streets. Yeah, yeah. And like the wine dance. Anything to keep her on, just <laughs> on, on the Anything TV. to keep her on. Hey, talk about oh, yeah. she, she does traffic side street. from Miami yeah. to Toronto. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she does sidewalk traffic at this point. Yeah. And you probably don't care, but in Oklahoma, there's a yeah. cow <laughs> yeah. tipped over. And they, right. are, and they already threw her behind the entertainment desk. She just, like, the she traffic girl is just sitting there. Yeah, she fill, no. Now she she fills in and does a little entertainment reports now too. When the other girl's out. Oh, there's nothing worse than watching somebody be groomed. Yeah. Oh, yep. she's being groomed big time. See here, she here's Emily Francis who does the <laughs> entertainment, and sometimes she's out. And when she's out, they've already slid her. Jill comes Jill. in and does a great oh, job with the boy. entertainment. But but I think they want her to be the traffic, uh, the, uh, the, weather weather the weather girl. As soon as she's able to spell Doppler. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but there she is new. She was in Playboy. Oh, that back is pathetically. A, about why four or five years ago. Huh? Why is she that good? That's amazing. She's that good yeah, looking. Look at that shot, huh? Look at that. Oh my God, yeah. It open. yeah. <laughs> There's... That's not a shot they oh. would. That's not a shot they would uh, have what? in Playboy. Which, Things which are. Uh, is that? That's, that's the, the Holland entrance, Tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the setup, Patrice. Doesn't look like there's any traffic going into the tunnel today. <laughs> God, is that night? Nice. Can I see more like of that ilk, uh, Iraq? Ilk. Very graphic photo, but it's, it's what you want. Yeah, to see. that's that's good stuff. Well. Yeah. I look like she's uh being uh being checked for contraband. <laughs> that yes. make you get right up in the morning. Oh that my make you, god. Late for work. Look at that, huh? All right. So there you go. Wow. So you notice what we've been noticing for a while. Oh. We dedicated a TV to her and everything that, every morning. That picture's great. It looks like a boar's head truck overturned on the expressway. And then my <laughs> other friend there that that I the other the black girl, she's getting really fat. She, is she pregnant or she just she just ho, ho, ho. The, the the anchor. Oh, I don't know. No one even cares. No, no, one, no even one even cares, cares about, her about her. She's a dullard, and, oh. and she's now trying too hard as well. She's starting to smile and yep. do all sorts of things. So nice one. See what, see what dignity, trying to have dignity, always loses when it's yeah. when you get that hot. Uh, 
Yeah, the hot, sexy thing. No, well, we know she's trying too hard. She's trying to smile. <laughs> <laughs> no, she never. I mean, she never smiled. She always looked like she didn't want to be there. So, Jeez. that's a good yeah. shot right there. Yeah. Sorry, I'm two. two right. Twenty days late for that. Uh, Jeez. It's we got, good to know that other people think the exact same. thing. Any excuse to uh, talk about her is, is yeah, fine. Don't worry it. about it. Don't we got. It. We got some food to eat here. We got. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? Yeah. What are we up to? Uh, the tripe. Yeah, um, which is a cow stomach. We also have some very thinly sliced uh, uh, cow tongue that's been. Now everything's just been boiled. Uh, it's our boil barbecue. Yes. <laughs> now who's gonna be brave? Oh. <laughs> I want Sam to try everything just because. Yeah, Sam's got to try it because his reaction is so good. He puts it in his mouth for two seconds and spits it out. He's like a junior high school girl. <laughs> if we deep fried it, you would try it. There was breading on it. I know, I know. Breading, yeah. He's got the diet of an eight-year-old. It tasted like a fish stick. Well, that's not going to... That smells kind of like uh, ham or that like one won't be some that kind bad. of a bacon yeah, product. Yeah, but just knowing what it is... Yeah. Well, who's trying it? Let's get our triers. What are we get, doing? I'll try one. All right. Dan's going to... Uh, I was try some of the tongue. I was all confidence just being like, I'm going to do one of these tongues. No big deal, but... As you get closer, it's just flapping. Oh, oh it's a flappy it just... tongue, and the uh, it's a stringy consistency. It looks like you're painting sort a very of, unflattering. Sort tongue of a of it, starburst. Uh, what, what is that again? The cow tongue. This is and sliced is there, cow tongue. What's that tongue. skin on the outside, or some kind of fatty thing? Uh, I think it's skin, like around the Canadian bacon kind of thing. Yeah, you keep telling yourself Canadian bacon. Yeah, it's just, just lick like it bacon. for a second. See how it tastes. Nah. Yeah, that's, gonna be, that's gonna be an easy one. I Is it? The whole thing in your mouth. Yeah, it's, go ahead. It's no delicacy. nibble. No uh, nibble. Just oh, how, you want? how about a big bite? Yeah, Give it a good. And then is. Uh, oh, it's a little uh, tough. It's a little stringy. I don't know what these guys are complaining about. This is crazy. Yeah, you picked the easy one, man. <laughs> sure did. What does it taste like? Some kind of uh, salami, maybe, or. Uh, it really does taste like Canadian bacon. Canadian bacon. Yeah. I miss almost missed a stringy part. Wow, he's actually popping more in his mouth. He's Stupid enjoying Danny it. Danny is hungry now. He's like, all right, I'll try it. Take a bite. Danny, what do you think? Well, I know I have to because because I have to. It's <laughs> <That was> easy. <laughs> yeah, it's going down easy. It's. It's surprisingly not bad. Yeah, that one's easy. Okay. It's All right, try this. That was an easy bad. one. That's almost a palate cleanser. There you go. From the duck feet. I'm all set. Yeah. Now we got to go to something else. Dan's actually going to swallow it. Dan so, liked it. So it's not that bad. See, even I think Sam could try that. Yeah, Sam, it's not that bad. I think that you should take a bite of the... Uh... I can't eat ba I can't eat ham. <laughs> Look at how you bad can. He gets. You can. He said he can't eat rice. He spits out rice. All right, just at least uh, bite into it. Yeah, take a bite and see what it tastes like. See, the problem is you, you you have this annoyance about this whole bit that now we have to focus on. And you got to try new you things You should have went like, ah, it's no big deal, and spit it out and move on, but... You you just don't want to do this. You got to try level. new things in life. Yeah, Come yeah. on now, just take a big bite. Just a big bite and, and chew. And let's try to let's try to uh, chew for ten seconds. Yeah, don't don't just do the spit the out. The last thing. one was fifteen seconds. Well, so we'll knock it down to ten seconds. Here we go. Here it is. It's probably easier to put the whole thing in your mouth than it is to rip off gristle and chew. Yeah. All right, get a bite and chew for ten seconds. Get a good one. Okay. All right, he's chewing, he's chewing. He's, uh, see, it's not that he's bad. Doing, not you're bad, doing right? a good job. He's chewing. That, that's the what does it taste like? Right? Ah, it just flew out of his mouth. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> what does it taste like? <laughs> Diluted Canadian bacon that was more fatty than... Uh, <laughs> he can't even describe it. He goes... He, he had a prison sex face. Yeah. <laughs> he was chewing that. All right, what do we got next? We got the, uh, the sheep's stomach, yeah, also known as tripe. Tripe. This stuff is mm. disgusting. Yeah, the consistency of this is a little grisly. It's uh, who's gonna uh, who's gonna, gonna try this? Like honeycomb pattern. Uh, but they're all pointing around trying to get someone else to try. It. Uh, with your finger there, what what does it feel like? <laughs> Just slipper. Well, you know this kind of. 
<laughs> Ew. It's hitting the plate. It's really heavy. It's like a piece of thick bread with oil, soaked through with oil, it sounds like. Yeah, that's exactly. Uh, let's say hi to Rick in North Carolina. Rick, what's up? Hey, how you doing? I've had tripe before. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like bad breath. It ta Tripe tastes like bad breath? Bad, like bad breath? Yeah, you know, you, when you wake up, you got that nasty taste in your mouth. Yeah. That's what it tastes like. It, it's just nasty. Yeah. All right, well, we'll get confirmation on that in a minute. All those little nooks and crannies are the inside of the stomach, where uh, all the nutrients from the food uh, are absorbed in. Right, and now gonna... you're going to eat it, and your stomach's going to do the same thing to it. Touche. I don't think it's going to make it that far. Oh, Danny, what are you doing? You look like you're gagging back there. What's the matter? What got you? Danny's tongue keeps sticking out, and he goes, oh. I'm trying not to... Focus on exactly what it is, but it's it's, it's yeah, a little it's, difficult. It's, it's the stomach. stomach. It's the lining of a stomach. It's a small piece. Come on, take Come a on, bite. Go ahead. It's I'll actually do it with you. that will actually absorb alcohol. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, I'll do it with you. It's another stomach working <laughs> for you. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go right after. No, yeah. come on. The same same time. Same time. Same time. Come on. All right, on, here on. it goes. Wow, big piece. Nice. The whole thing. Whole thing. Yeah, then chew it and swallow it. And I, gonna make I'm this going to probably puke. Oh, no, boy. Not. Oh, boy. Dan's like, he's got martial arts training, so there's something going on where I think he <laughs> can handle this a little bit better than the other himself? guys. He's yeah. psyching himself, you think? Back for a smaller piece? No. Nope. <laughs> All right. Whole piece. Ready? Muzzle tough. And go. <laughs> 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 Over by the garbage, Danny. What? What? It, it was. It was in his mouth for a second. Look you wasted him. that piece of stomach. He's yeah. No, he, he only had it in for a second. He's got to get it back. He's got to at least chew it on a piece. I agree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. Chew, he didn't even chew it. When the boss says chew, oh, he's going. Oh, you got to chew. You got to chew it for fifteen <laughs> Let seconds. Him gag. You got to chew it for fifteen seconds, man. Fans doing it. Fan? Fan is still chewing. How's Fan, what does it stomach? taste like? I'm keeping it to the side of my mouth. Oh, uh, yeah. Like You're, tobacco. No, yeah. You, oh, Danny's, Danny's going to puke. Yeah, well, he's got it. Here, get another oh, piece of just... tripe in your mouth for 15 Wait, seconds. What else is over there? Fan is trained. We're not going to get the reaction out of Fan. What is that? Sorry, Hope. That's okay. <laughs> On this plate, we have sheep testicles. Well... Bottoms up, Dan. No, he's got to get the tripe. Oh, you're the right. The tripe wasn't even in his mouth yeah. for more than a second. It was like a Real half a fast. second tops. The, con the consistency is not pleasant. No. <laughs> all right. no. All right. It's all right. like eating a kitchen sponge. <laughs> oh, my God. That's exactly, exactly what it is. That's fine. It's not bad. All right, just chew it. Come on. Chew it for 15 <laughs> seconds. We're on the clock here. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, we got another piece of that? Good. Ooh. Come on, Danny. Let's go. Danny's uh, reaching for a good one. You can do it. Nice, big, fat, wet piece of sheep stomach. Just as long as you can, and then stay over the garbage just in case. Does it taste like bad breath like that guy said in North Carolina? Dan just went for a little gag. I saw that. That's a uh -oh. gag. Well, I've swallowed some. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right, Danny, let's go. I know. I just we gotta take a break. I, I don't. I don't think I'm gonna be able to keep it. Just try for 15 seconds. As long as you can, just at least put more that than in second. your mouth. Barely had no, it. It's, 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 it's oh, so wow, terrible. Oh wow, that stinks. It is so terrible. Okay, that's really stinking. It. I'm getting a waft of it over here. All right, here we go. All right, oh, right. A, oh god, damn it. That's a big piece. That's a good All big right. piece for you. Can I, I just, I just, you just gotta give me a second just to remember the uh, garbage pails right there. That's what it's there for. Just keep it in your mouth as long as possible. Just chew it. You can do it. There we go. All right, here we go. Yeah, right. Dan did it. Dan did it. Eat that wet sheep. Dan actually stomach. swallowed it. All right, here we go. A soggy sheep uh, yeah, stomach. Yeah, it's exactly what it is. It's just, it's and just three, soggy. Two, one, go. Chew. Chew. Chew it. All right, he's chewing. He's chewing. He's chewing. He's chewing. You can do it. Chewing. Keep chewing the stomach of that animal. He's the chewing. wet chewing. stomach of that animal. He's chewing. Oh, God, he's squishing it between. Oh. Oh. oh God. That sounds like, like packing bubbles. Yeah. What does it taste uh -oh. like? Sheep stomach. <laughs> does it it's it's terrible. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, a gag. Feels fine. Just get it right to the back of your throat. It it tastes like a used sponge, and it feels like one too. It's just it's just awful. It it's like 
Oh, oh, a little gag. Oh, oh, <laughs> jeez, look at him gagging. Don't gag, you know how hard it is to get this stuff? <laughs> oh, he can't, now he's, he's, he can't talk or chew or anything. He's just trapped now with it in his mouth. You gotta swallow it and make room for that sheep testicle. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, get it, no, get it to the back of your throat where it, it hits the little punching bag thing in the back of your throat. <laughs> with that good tripe goodness. If you just swallow real quick, it'll go right I'm down. Dude, I'm really trying. I know you are. I'm you're really get it down there, sweetie. Those nooks and crannies are where all the feed would go in and be absorbed in by the um, cow. I thought we were friends. <laughs> you know what you do? You chew it, and after you chew, you go... And you suck it in your mouth, and that will drain all the fluid down your throat. Oh, yeah, get the juice. Ah! 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 I did it. He hit his head. That did it. The juice. On the microphone to get to the garbage pail. The juice. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. By the way, I don't like the fact that Phone Boy isn't taking any uh, any tripe. <laughs> we, have to, do we have to take a break? We could maybe pop some in real quick. Yeah. Travis, Come on. Have a little tripe. I don't want Travis to be left out. Yeah, why is Travis... Uh... Here comes Travis. Look at him. Some. He's a trooper. Bring in Travis. What do you want to try? You can't try the... the that beef uh, tongue thing. That was no, it's too now. tasty. Uh, it is. <laughs> Danny's no, in misery. Want. Uh, you want to pop one of those balls in your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Or, sure. you pre <laughs> pretend you're reapplying for the internship. <laughs> <laughs> or what? Yes, hello. Or, or the shirt. You're quite waif-like. Stomach lining. I say what the hell is that? What? Uh, what? Sorry. <laughs> Danny had to grab the uh, garbage bag because he's not. I don't think he's done yet. What is that? That's the sheep testicles. Oh my god! Oh, oh, oh. oh god! Get uh, get him away from me! Patrice is not even looking at this. Why aren't you looking, Patrice? Patrice look. It's I, it's just taps in the. I'm not bothered by many things. <laughs> But the, just this Ugh. mess and the sound of people eating and swallowing. Oh, I got, I, I got like bother me, goosebumps. <sighs> get that away! It's uh, do they skin them? I usually the get, a, get a cast iron stomach, but this, I just if I pay attention to this, it's going. It's, it looks like they, uh, they like bust apart when you cook them. Are they like ballpark Franks? Have you ever seen a brain tumor? <laughs> That's what it looks like. God. A brain tumor. This thing's just poking out of it. Hold on, we, we uh, 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 Travis, you gonna pop one in your mouth and? No, I'll, I'll pop one of these. I, uh, I would like to see Travis eat some sheep stomach lining, and then when we come back, I would like to see because I don't want to see those get wasted when we go in a break. I want no. to hear somebody uh. enjoying the sheep. Testicles. You want to try the sh uh, the sheep liver? That'll be uh, easy. Yeah. Oh, what was those? All the bally things. Travis always looks hungry. Those look like yeah. I'm really eat some, hungry, Travis. <laughs> those not gonna oh, be good. Those look like meatballs. That looks Jeez. easier than the sheep oh, testicles. This crap <laughs> stinks. What is? What is these the, are uh, these are the beef tendon balls. They just what you know, are that kind of smells be, like that, cat food. That can't be like that. cat food. Yeah. It's right. made out of I guess beef tendons, and they just grind them up and make little Swedish meatball looking things out of them. Is, Can I ask you a question? Why didn't you got? How, it, they're nasty yeah. enough to cook. To actually cook them right. No open flames. Not allowed to open flames. Yeah, so we had to boil them. Yeah. Boil them. <laughs> if we cooked them right, who cares? Exactly. You can make anything. We learned a long time ago. You can make anything taste good. We, we had a guy cook up rat where people went back for seconds. Yep. Really? Because how he prepared rat it. Plov. Yeah. It was wonderful. He prepared it so nicely with uh, spices and <laughs> condiments that people actually, and he made a sauce. It, people actually went back for seconds. And enjoy rat. Okay. Yeah, but enough. you boil this crap, trust me, you get right down to the right down to the juice of the thing. Travis? The Travis, juice. what are you going to eat? I'll try a beef tendon ball. All right. All right. Pull that, pop that whole thing in your mouth. Oh. It looks like a meatball. It doesn't look that bad. The sheep testicles look like tumors. They yeah. really do. They bust it open. All right, go ahead. All right. Pop it in there and chew. Travis has got a... Ooh. <laughs> what does it taste like? It's all the gristle of an animal. It's not bad. It's chewy. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, oh it, are you gagging? You got to swallow it. Were you gagging a little? Gagging and dry heaving is just It really... Stinks. It's a it ball smells of so bad. I'm not oh God, that yeah, smells so bad. No, That's swallow it up. What does it taste like? Oh, ah, <laughs> there he goes. Oh, he's gagging. He's gagging. Did you get any of that sinewy muscle tissue down your throat? 
Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> this is like food. Oh, oh that stinks. stinks. Oh, that really holy. smells. This is like food they uh, used sorry. to eat papillon. <laughs> <laughs> Let it dump out. There was a curse in there, but uh, oh god, that's, that stinks. smells really bad. What what did it taste like, Travis? You know, at at first it didn't taste that bad. It tasted like just bad meatballs. Yeah. <laughs> Breathe through my mouth. But the longer you can't, <clears throat> the longer you can't swallow it because of its texture, it just gets worse and worse. Oh E-Rock. God, is that awful? The smell in here is is horrific. Iraq, someone else is gonna have a cat food ball. Yeah, Iraq. Iraq. Eric's a good. Come you on. haven't eaten anything in a while. You Come wanna... on, Iraq. No, Doctor Ian recommends cat yeah, food balls. The, the thing that looks yes. like a meatball. It's not that bad. We got to find someone brave enough to eat the the sheep testicle that looks like a tumor. There you go. Just excited. pop that nugget in your mouth. Mmm. It's actually not what does bad. it smell like, Iraq? Um, just taste it. Mm, it smells like a like a rotting meatball. <laughs> <laughs> a rotting meatball. Patrice has had his face in the same paper. Oh, he's not even acknowledging this is happening. He hasn't even changed the the page. No, he's just looking no at the paper. Just staring at us. <laughs> I'm breathing in my mouth and out my nose. I'm trying very really hard not to Take a bite of that cat food. All right, let's go. Time. Dig in. And you got to throw the whole thing in. Yeah. And just bite that. What are you, you're molding it like clay. It's spongy. Uh, it's spongy. Right, how, many go ahead. Ca- how many carbs does that have? Uh, here we go. Okay, here he goes. It's like holding Ugh. himself. Pop it in your mouth. All right. He popped the Chew whole away. Chew, mouth. Keep chewing. He's, chewing. he's making really bad faces. Oh, 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 oh wow. Like, how is, like how he's drinking sour milk. He's gagging. He's making a gag face. Oh, oh my God! I thought that's how white people cook their food, boiling it. No, <laughs> maybe the Irish. The Irish do a the lot Irish. of boiling. This is not fair. Boil a lot of things, but <laughs> oh, again, it just stinks now. It sucks when you bite into those things. It it releases some kind of uh, toxic n- nerve agent. <laughs> n- nasty, uh, yeah. What did, what did it taste it like? It does taste like cat food. It's. Oh, but cat food. Oh, it is that just cat food is horrible. almost you can almost deal with cat food. What makes that worse? Um, it, the con- I guess the consistency of it. You're biting in it. It feels like you're tearing flesh as you're eating it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the stringy sinew. <laughs> Trace, you want one? Uh, what do you want to try, oh, Trace? I have oh, the smell. I have a. Cr- oh fire. God! <laughs> All right. Oh, the I'm smell is... I'm get, having trouble looking at it, man. <laughs> We're going to take a break. It's our boiled meat barbecue for 4th of July. <laughs> it's a boiled meat day. What uh, the hell is wrong? What uh, uh, hey, what's that? And he said that that was just a serious radio yeah. dude. Hey, hey, man, it's boiled meat day here on Opie and Anthony. That's right. <laughs> dude, I can't take the smell. Show him, show him the gooey duck. Show Patrice the gooey duck before the break. What is the gooey duck? Oh, oh God. Are, are we cooking the gooey duck already? Yeah, it'll be right. And who is this poor prison chef over here who's, who's doing it? <laughs> oh, my God. Put the top back on the boiled water. As soon as you popped up, oh. open the top. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. Hey, oh, look at it. Oh, Let's wow. See. Oh, my God. Look at that, Patrice. Lift it up for Patrice again. Look what, at that. What, it, what is that right there? Look at it. It's, like a giant. it's called a gooey duck. Look at that thing. Now, is that a real wow. is, that a, is that a real uh, it's a, it's delicacy a, at some point? It's a clam. It's a Let clam me with a cost. huge appendage. How much does that, that cost? Down. $35. $35. $35 bucks I bet for you that. that's delicious if you, yeah. if no. you do something with it. No, it's not. Well, we're going to try it's, it out. It's a oh, clam wow. with a big, like, foot hanging out of it. Yeah. Sir, or, is that delicious? Said is, would that be a, a delicious pro- meal if you, could, if you were allowed to make it the way you wanted to? <laughs> he doesn't know. Yeah, he, he, he's <laughs> never... <laughs> Sandy. Huh? It's not going to be made. Danny's gagging. <laughs> All right. Uh, what do you got, Kenny? Danny's the whole gagging. floor stinks. The whole floor stinks? Yeah. yeah. Theoretically? Or <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, as soon as you lift the top off the boiled water, is there's, 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 there's some smell of stinks escaping. Or, or, he's just, or he's just standing there looking like the guy that got killed by the light bulb oh. in Longest Yard. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Undertaker, make me some sheep testicles. <laughs> All right, on the way. Well, who's going to bite into the sheep testicles after oh, the break? Oh, God, I can't take this now. Half from Anaki will try the sheep testicles next? Yes. All right, uh, Isn't Pat that from baby bird? Huh? Yeah, yeah, baby birds oh, here. Gee whiz. And uh, gooey duck on the way and ox penis. Oh. Can I can I do the out? Hey, it's boiled meat day here on Opie and Anthony. <laughs> Neil in studio. Pat from Munaki making his way into the studio. Can I say how badly the whole... You cannot tell how badly this smells until you leave the room, go down the hall to the bathroom, and then walk back in. It reeks in here. Yeah, we got a, we got a couple doors that are closed in between uh, the bathroom out there and oh. the studio, and uh, as soon as you start opening doors to come back into the studio, it's it's just god-awful. It made my... A disclaimer? 
It smells like rotting meat yeah. and like uh, I don't know, rotting seafood. It made my my wonderful sweet honeydew and cantaloupe <laughs> taste like crap. I'm trying to eat it, and then the last oh. bite I took, I got a waft of that clamshell with a schlong. And it just smelled horrible. Yeah, a lot of people are saying that someone uh, should drink the boiled water when we're done. Oh, is Pat uh, Duffy nice. here? Nice. Is Pat Duffy here? No. 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 Ah, man, we need Pat Duffy today. Also, uh, Big Boy uh, made a duty or whatever, yeah. or makes Big Boy makes a duty. Well, is now on Break. dot com. Big, so Big Boy made a duty, I think, is the line. But Big Boy makes a duty is the name of the yeah, ball. yeah. Is is the <laughs> there was a working title? <laughs> what what are they throwing the search at break dot com? <laughs> Holy Jesus, uh, uh, Patrice, we've completely lost our minds the last few days. You want to see something? Here, here's the video. It's now on break dot com. We need we need the pest to go up, uh, go to break dot com and get the hits up on this thing. Big boy makes a duty. Actually, there's uh, Steve is on the phone with Break. We're trying to get this on the front page. <laughs> We're trying to get this on the front page. <laughs> uh, there goes Jimmy. Now here comes uh, our that, that's intern, with, the intern with his duty hat on, and he goes in and look at what he does. Oh, this is real, by the way. Look at what he does. No, that's look, crazy. that's real. Look, that, see, that's real. Out. He pulls it out, puts a little hat on it, and then dumps it back in and says bye bye, and then waves, waves goodbye, goodbye to it. To it. Yeah, bye -bye. yeah. Uh, he, uh, Jim, you know, he's could probably you ruined his all, entire please? future. Uh, it's worse than doing please. porn. What's that? Can I have that Lysol, please? Nah, it's, it's infectious. Uh, you don't want that. Yeah, throw it away. Throw the Lysol be, away. You don't want Lysol? Don't be a douche. You sure? Yeah. All right, uh, so Thank you. <laughs> so on the search, it's Big Boy Makes a Duty, but oh, Break.com has decided to throw it up there. Oh, what Big Boy does. I don't think YouTube is going to accept the video. I hope you guys have guaranteed him a job in the future. Uh -huh. Well... <laughs> We have. We now know his name, so that's a good start. We didn't even know his name yeah. until yesterday. Jared. That's how we learn these guys' his name's names. Jared. Uh, yeah, Jared. Hey, uh, Pat from Minaki. Hey. What's up, Pat? Getting ready for the Fourth of July uh, hot dog eating contest tomorrow? Yes, I am. What? Pat should just roll, crawl around in a circle on the ground, and just go. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> <laughs> Got that look to him, sure. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Pat, are you willing to try the sheep testicle that looks like kind of a brain tumor? Uh, well, I'm keeping kind of empty for Nathan's there. Well, I don't think I want to put gonna, up some good numbers. I don't think you're gonna be swallowing that. <laughs> yeah, I'll, you mean want me to roll it around in my mouth? How, how many sheep testicles are there? There's uh, three that's, left. That's a Ralph Cramden line. It's kind of weird. Why don't you roll this around in your mouth yeah. for a while? <laughs> what, what you gotta do? I don't care if it boils. <laughs> what do you think? Sure, why not? Oh man, Grandma's delicious mystery appetizer. Is that an English muffin? Uh, it looks like an English muffin. That's uh, that's sheep stomach called the nooks tripe. and right. crannies. <laughs> it looks like a raw, um, yeah, English muffin before uh, you cook it. I really don't like how the Contessa here is breathing in his little Lysol napkin. I I can't. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Contessa, I've sprayed a napkin autopsy. with Lysol, and I I have it under my nose because <laughs> the right. smell coming out of that pot is so rancid. It's like a mixture between low tide and Chrissy's body from Jaws, <laughs> in this entangled in the seaweed. Yuck! I a say, boating accident. It's horrid. I am looking forward to seeing um, yeah. two people chew Pat one keep testicle. But Pat shouldn't be alone. I don't think Pat should be alone. And Pat, you should. No, uh, yeah. You can keep the gum in your mouth. I we don't care. I oh, imagine having the flavor of the, uh, yeah. that yeah. in your gum. Pop so you one of those bad the boys in and start chewing and tell us what it tastes like. Gee, I don't know where to start. Uh, but what's this? Picking one up. It's uh, it's a sheep testicle. I thought it was a chicken leg. No, can you see what chicken the... leg? It does kind of look like a chicken yeah. leg. They're all busted apart. Something happened. Here it looks we go. Looks like a tumor. Oh, Those God. hot dogs are where, made out of the same the pail. Where's the pail? Just I have to go to the weigh-in this morning. That's all right. That won't. Oh, not a weigh-in for yeah. Nathan's. <laughs> oh, no, my. he's part of the Nathan's hot dog. Oh, that's process. Just, they take it very seriously. That's unreasonable. You'll be on ESPN over the weekend, uh, right? Yes. Well, they want to make sure you didn't lose any weight. Uh, yeah, I, lo I lost like 20 pounds since the last time I was here on the uh, Extreme Fat Smash. Very good. Uh, don't worry, this ain't going down. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know, I just, think you can. It's a delicacy. Just chew it around. Just chew it in your mouth a little bit. All right. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
It was a garbage can, right? Oh, <laughs> oh that's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> he oh. just had a nub off of it. That's oh. even worse. Yeah, you know, you got to take a bigger bite. You just that. ate the nub. I yeah, say, Pat, bite right pierced the vein. You, you, oh. Oh. you bit into the growth. We wanted you to bite into the testicle. Yeah. You I'm bit into the, the squirt. <laughs> the, uh, oh, oh, all right, here we go. I, damn. I don't care if it squirts. Just bite right into that sheep testicle. There he goes. He's a trooper. Oh, <laughs> You hear it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that doesn't look good, Pat. That is, I can see what the sheep ate. <laughs> oh, oh. What does it taste like? Oh. Sheep testicle. <laughs> 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 Uh, That's the line of the day right there. I think I'm full. <laughs> and you were worried that you were going to swallow that? There's no way. Sam, will you I'm going to swallow my tongue. Why keep pointing at Danny? You were asking for him. Oh, no, but I don't want to see Sam him. looks so annoyed. Look at yeah, his eyes. I know. Oh, he's not Sam, happy. What's the matter? I'm not annoyed. Yeah, you are. Sam doesn't right. want to have to try it. Well. That's all right. Um, all right, so... So who's going to try the other uh, sheep testicle? It's sticky, too. Oh. My oh. lips are sticking together. <laughs> oh, God. well, you know what they're full of. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, don't eat all of them. Save some oh, thank you. for everyone. Hey, get, the, get the one don't that you spit stingy. out off the plate. <laughs> all right, he's picking up. Oh. Wow. All right, who's next on the sheep testicle? Look at Rock. His eyes are watering, and he's not even. Yeah. Happy. We might have to make you bite into one now that you're having that reaction. What do you say, Iraq? Oh, Come on, Iraq. Just bite into Iraq. Iraq. Dan has proven that uh, we, we're not going to go to him anymore. Iraq, get it with the steak. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, Could you bite into one of those? Sure, you can. Looks like a gizzard. You could throw the cow tongue out. That was too easy. You know, Let's e toss that to the side. E Rock looks boiled. <laughs> <laughs> Describe the sheep, the sheep testicle. It kind of looks looks like uh, like there's there's tumors on it, right? Yeah, it looks very gristly, very hard and gristly, and like there's nubs in it. There's air pockets in it. Air pockets. Oh. Like, wait, I don't know if you can hear it. Oh, he's, he's cushioning uh, it around. I actually like that noise. <laughs> and there's hair all over it. Uh, <laughs> is it weird seeing that when you're not in a get park away, or a Get away, get away, get away. Where's the hair? Oh. Oh, my God, there's actual <laughs> hair on the thing. It was an older sheep. <laughs> <laughs> there's one or two hairs. Well, why don't you pop the whole thing in your mouth? Go ahead. The whole thing. Pop that whole thing in your mouth. Well, that ain't happening. You Come can on. Do it. You can do it. Well, you got to bite into the meat of the thing. <clears throat> Come on, pelican face. Just stick it in there. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Put it in that pouch down there. Here he goes. <laughs> here goes the rock. No! What? More. The bite whole... right in the middle of the thing. Yeah. Here he goes. Swallow it whole. Yeah. Come on, Vic Morrow. <laughs> oh. Swallow it whole. <laughs> go ahead. Chew it, chew it, chew it. Oh, God damn. Oh, he didn't last long on that one. What's wrong, Iraq? What happened, Iraq? What does it taste like? I think I lost my contact lens. <laughs> <laughs> Inadvertently puts a piece of tripe in there. <laughs> you puked so hard you lost your contact lens? It moved. Then what, I got it. What does it taste like? Why are you using the the fingers you were holding the testicle with to, exactly. to put your contact back in place? Ball eyes? Oh, shut up. Oh, you stole my line. I was gonna, I'll take those oh, sheep ball eyes. <laughs> what does it taste like? Uh, can I just I, say I this? I know it's gonna get a crash, is. but I bet it tastes bad. <laughs> <laughs> what does it taste like? <laughs> yeah, what's going on? What can you uh, equate it to? Like, say you have then you have to be food. Say you haven't showered in a while. <laughs> yeah, and um, you maybe happen to um, put your hands in a certain region. Uh, maybe, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. my God, really? Yeah. That out. yeah. Nice. Oh God. And what made it worse was at least there's portions of it that are, are solid meat, but when you're breaking through parts that are 
there are just those air packets or pockets in there. You know it's and it kind of crunches. <laughs> <laughs> you know what used to be in those air pockets, right? Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh goodness. Absolutely. All that deliciousness. Is that a real? Uh, is is that some just some fear factor thing, or is for people eating this stuff? Huh? Eat this stuff. People eat. eat, eat uh, are yeah, we got machine? this from a uh, an Asian supermarket downtown. Oh, those people. <laughs> How about uh, we have one more? Yep. All right, one more testicle. Who, who's up? <laughs> oh you know God. <laughs> I don't know how look to do it. Sam is just arguing in the background. It ain't happening. It ain't happening. Yo, well, look at it ain't happening. This ain't happening, man. <laughs> it ain't happening. I want to be racist so bad right now. Uh, uh, yeah, right? I'm just going to smack myself in the face. Yeah, just shut up. Yeah. I'm done. What do you say? It's got to be Danny because I think that Sam is easy to gross out. Yeah. <laughs> All right, who's stepping up to the to the plate? Wow, Dan is Danny coming back? Danny's a bit dumb. Danny's coming back. He was indulging last night, so he's not... Danny had a real rough night. Hey, he's looking terrible. So he is yeah. not going to be able to deal with these things uh, Danny very Danny got raped in a bowling alley. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, he's got his, uh, what was it, the big ragu? He's got his shirt on. <laughs> you know I go from rags and that's it. <laughs> 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 All right, Danny. Come on, dry I'm, hands. I'm, I'm <laughs> mentally preparing. You're trying to psych yourself up. Just eat it. It looks like a baby, like a raw baby heart. That's what <laughs> How do you know what that looks like? <laughs> what I eat. Exactly. Looks like you stole lunch. Go ahead, Danny. You're a soldier, man. Yeah. Stem cell research center. <laughs> pop it in your mouth. There. Pop. You don't even have to chew. Pop the whole thing in your mouth, and uh, just hold it there like it's a fat, like uh, a mushroom. All right, here we go. The last sheep testicle has been picked up off the plate. Do your thing, baby. I'm down with you, Danny. Go ahead, man. Oh, boy. Come on, buddy. You chew that for a couple of seconds, Dan. Look at that. There's a crispy buck for you. <laughs> wow. Buck. Ew, there really is, like, some kind of hair on it. <laughs> uh, can't just look. Get it away from me. Get it away from me. Get it away from me. I can't even look. <laughs> he smelt it and just Dude, gagged. This smells so bad. I don't think, I really don't think I could even keep it in my mouth. You for a smell second. worse, man. Do you think? Try your hardest to keep that in vodka. your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, yeah, he stole another one on my mind. Hey, what else are we boiling <laughs> just over there? Be quick on it, draw. Let's talk to the cook that doesn't want to plug today. <laughs> Oh, don't, oh, you lifted the tin again. Oh, man. Every time you lift that lid. The uh, clam is going to be ready. And, why is it and, green? Um, you know, clam. Why is it turned green? Like he knows. He, well, he's never boiled this crap I, I've before. Never cooked Holy mackerel. Before. Did you see that? It was. It's green. It wasn't wearing and any protection. Lovely... <laughs> the gooey duck Ew. has turned green. And what's that? I believe this is the uh, oxtail. Penis. Penis? The ox okay. penis. There's the tail of the penis. Ox penis. Yeah, it can't be the ox tail. The ox tail penis. Yeah, yeah. the ox penis. And then we wow, have, oxes uh, ain't packing like that. All right, that. he's going into his other pond. Oh, one. Huh? Then we have, uh, hold on. Oh, that's just the hold helmet. on, hold on, hold that's on. That's the helmet. <laughs> we have the pig head in here. You, you're boiling the oh, pig head? The entire pig head is in there. Oh, my nice. God. Nice. All right, let's go, Danny. Here you go, son. Do it for the radio show. Do it for Philly. <laughs> here it is. All right. I don't think I'm going to be able to actually bite into it. You can do it, Dan. Uh, you got to bite it. You, you got to bite, bite it. Attempt, I will attempt yeah, it. All right. You can do it, buddy. You got to. Oh, it is so just bad. Just so hold bad. on. I thought the tripe was bad. This smells so much worse than the tripe. Do your thing. Maybe to straighten your oh, hair up. Uh, well, holding his whatever nose. it takes, he's go. holding his nose. If it works. Pop the whole thing in your mouth. Miracle, hold your nose but... for a second. All right, it's in. Now bite it. Bite down. Sink bite right in the middle of the it. testicle. Come on, don't waste it. <laughs> He's gagging. Danny. He's gagging. <laughs> he barely punctured it. That's that was a jip. I bet your dad a knife or fork gonna be you could figure out how to eat it. Like if just <laughs> little, just cut it. It's just so that slowly. whole thing. No one puts any whole <laughs> thing in their mouth at all. You don't uh, you don't even put a real a well cooked whole meatball in your mouth at once. What happened, Danny? That's a good point. It's, it has the consistency of of 
I, I can't even describe. It's just, it's just terrible. It's awful. It's, it's like, uh, it's like, it's like biting into a piece of styrofoam almost. It's just. <laughs> you want to wash down some tripe? <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather have the tripe, to be honest with you. Wow, uh, so far the sheep testicle. Oh, yeah, thing. that's the worst thing so Why? far. Why? Because it's like got some crunchy thing happening first, and then. Uh, I don't no, know. No, it's it. The smell is so. Bad. It's, really? I, it's, not, it's indescribable. It's absolutely indescribable. It's just it's, maybe the sheep just awful. cut the grass. <laughs> oh, yeah, the, no. the gooey duck is uh, being presented. Uh, uh, Vinny and Hicksville, what's up? Oh, it's green. Vinny. Yeah. Hi. What's up? How you doing? You know, just going to let you guys know, there was an episode one time of uh, Dirty Jobs. Yeah. Where Mike uh, Rowe actually went out and dug up those Dewey Ducks. Yeah. And then they brought it back to the store, and I believe they did what you guys did. They uh, boiled them, and he said it tastes delicious. Oh, really? Well, we're going to find out. Yeah, well, good luck. Have fun. It looks like a, kind of like a clam, and then this huge <laughs> kielbasa. <laughs> Danny's dry luck, heaving. It's sticking out of the clam. Danny's dry <laughs> heaving. <laughs> What are those clams called that uh, have that little thing sticking out? Yeah, like, clams. The piss yeah. clams. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Sounds like a lot of fun, guys. All right, thank you, sir. Enjoy the day. <laughs> the, all right, the cook is uh, attempting to cut into the gooey duck. The gooey duck looks like something that fell off a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It's green. It's green and lumpy. It's like Java. Look at him over there, lay carving it. Well, just pull it apart with your fingers. Ew, wanna... Why are there holes through it? Probably so he can breathe. Well, because that's where someone was telling uh, someone on this feedback is, was saying that that's where that's where the baby batter they shoot baby batter. Wait, what? But what is a gooey that duck? What is it really? Batter. Is a is a clam? I guess it's in yeah, a clam family because there's a clam shell yeah. around it. But this thing is massive that it's pops out of it. Most clams have some kind of a thing that comes out that they use to. What's the feed one in with, like the Bahamas that they eat? What they call the conch. 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 Is that, conch. Is that that's what not that is? a clam though. No. no that's, is that what that is? No, the conch. conch. They're both from the mollusk family, yet that one has a very, very um, big. Look at him presenting uh, it. He can't uh, help but be a chef. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Never mind. Just that throw is. it on the plate. Yes, a very big. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break. We'll try the gooey duck next. Oh, God. Also, the uh, oxtail it's, penis next. This stinks so bad in here. Is what else, what else haven't we tried? There's a gooey in there. <laughs> Travis, what haven't we tried? Pig head. Travis bought all this stuff. Oh, the there's, pig head. That's right. Yeah, the, uh, the biggest ox penis I could find. <laughs> we still have to try. No, no, we're, we're going to do that after the break. Um, what haven't we boiled yet? Oh. For our geez. boiled meat barbecue. Um, Out of the stuff that I bought, I don't think we've done the sea cucumbers yet. <laughs> oh, yeah, those are really disgusting. All right, do you boil those? I have Does no idea. Know? <laughs> All right. And uh, who eats the sea oh. cucumbers? Um, What group? Sea cucumbers. Oh, Asians. <laughs> I got all of it at an Asian supermarket. Did you really? Yeah. Mm. People actually do eat this. This is a oh, supermarket yeah. food. People. Now, did they say these? They like said me. these words, or it was just the squiggly lines in the. You would think these animals. Well, I got it in English too. Yeah. I mean, people were buying it just like I was. Really? So, yeah. Oh yeah. You would think these animals would be safe. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Who's you, like like no one's gonna want to eat? Point. No one's gonna want to eat me. <laughs> You're like, oh man, I don't. It's just a, a live gooey duck just chilling like. Yeah. A gooey duck. I don't have a natural enemy. I'm a gooey duck. There's lobsters all around him. He's like, no he's laughing at him. No one's gonna eat this. Yeah, dum yeah. dum. You about to get boiled? I'm just a gooey duck, baby. Who eating me? Yeah. And there right. it is. Somebody will try the gooey duck next. It's uh, the boiled meat barbecue. I'm uh. being asked. <laughs> Certainly is. You're checking out the Opie and Anthony show. You all right, buddy? And what a disgusting show it is. Kind of a strange morning. There's some girl passed out in the green room. Who's that? Oh, we know passed, her? Passed out? Oh. Or is she sleeping, sleeping or passed out? What? She's just resting. I picked her up uh, late last night. Oh, okay. I didn't know. I walked by and there's some girl that looks like she's passed out in the green room. That's all. Phone number 877-212-5762. We got Patrice O'Neill in studio. Hello. It's our boiled meat barbecue. We got the gooey duck. It's cooked. Yes, then. I think Jared should go next. Who? Jared. Our Jared? star. All right. Yeah, Jared. Uh, this... That's, that's going to be nothing. Uh, Mr. Dookie Hands. Well, that video is now up on break.com. How did we get there again? You, you should make him eat two things together. <laughs> oh, God. Huh? I, I was trying to think, how could this be more disgusting? Imagine, like, 
the testicles, the, the testes, and, the, and duck, the and the tripe, and then the uh, the penis. Just put, to make him, yeah. Because this dude, when he if he's willing to grab um, boo boo, then he, he he can eat two things. Yeah. Ooh. He did what? a good job in that video, I right? I get my stink napkin His up acting here. acting was good. All right, so... What? Acting. Yeah, it was good. Sheesh. Well, the, if you throw uh, bad boy... What? Big boy. Big boy makes a duty. Yeah, big boy makes a duty into the search engine of break.com. <laughs> We're trying to get it on the front page so we have, can shock America with that damn thing. It's have hard. there been comments uh, yet? Uh, any Has comments? anyone commented? Because I would love to know if people are like, oh, dude, that's so fake. Yeah, I, that's people are gonna think it's fake, but I'm telling you how they'll deal. think it's fake. You know, I it's... comments. Uh, let's see, seven comments oh. so far. All right, let's see what some of the comments are. Uh, truly, some of James Norton's best cinematic work. <laughs> a timeless <laughs> classic, told with style and a wonderful production value. That's great. Should be on the front page. Is that a uh, is that a duty or a tofuti cutie? <laughs> Uh, Big Boy sure did make a duty. Sure did. Uh, rave review so far, basically. Rave review, so check it Great. out. Great. com. And the star of that video, Jared, is uh, stepping up to the plate. Jared, what do you want to try? Oh, yeah. what's that? It's uh, good, Capote. Eat a bite. <laughs> he really done? does have a... Uh, his, has, his face has a lot of character. Look at his face. Oh, God. Is that the... Um, a gooey duck. Uh, a gooey duck. That might not be bad, actually, because it's a delicacy. It's an Asian delicacy, so it might not be bad. I, I don't like seafood. Oh, don't be a goose. That is what the furthest thing from seafood. Uh oh. Don't can worry you about it. Like seafood? You no. picked up somebody's <laughs> fecal matter, you piece of garbage? <laughs> <laughs> this is your line? I don't uh, like seafood. All right, he's picking up a piece of the, the gooey duck. Gooey Why are you putting it in your mouth, John Why Voight you... from Midnight Cowboy? <laughs> <laughs> he pulled yeah. the skin off it. You can't... Denting. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh, God, I can't even look at him touching that. Hold on, hold on. You, you can't pull the skin off the thing. The yeah. skin is the best part. What's wrong with you? That's where all the nutrients are. What, are you trying to be healthy? <laughs> <laughs> Put it in your mouth. All right, here he goes. <laughs> John Voight. <laughs> and there goes Jared oh. chewing the gooey duck. Tastes like chicken. There you go. No, it doesn't. Come on. Does it? Come on. Oh, no, there he goes. Hold on. Hold on. He's gagging. Come on, chew that. Chew that. Oh, chew it up. Someone mic him. Get it in the back of your throat so it really binds up. Oh. What's wrong? Yeah, what's the problem? What's the problem? What's What's up? What's wrong? What seems to be the problem? You're gagging. Get it in the back of your throat, a big lump of it. Get that big hunking lump of gooey duck hanging out in the back of your throat. Did you see the two nostril holes in it? Yeah. That's what you were eating, by the way. It's part of the sinus. Mm. <laughs> He's having That's where the mucus uh, mucus membrane is. Get it in the back of your throat. Come oh. on, Jared. Hey, what's going on? Come on. Why don't you get tired of those subs you got to eat every day? Get it down. <laughs> He's trying to swallow it? Swallow that thing. Swallow it. You swallowed, you swallowed it? it? What a trooper. Wow, did he have a hard time. Ugh. Wow, did he have a rough time with that. You said it, it tasted like chicken. Ugh, yeah. Until what? What happened? What, Rancid what changed? chicken roadkill. I think it was you guys just describing what it really yeah, was. Yeah. yeah, we were trying. Did he Did he have a piece of that? That stuff looked good. The, uh... The, no, not the tripe. The other stuff. Oh, the meatball-looking thing? The meatballs weren't bad, from what everybody said. Oh, the uh, ligament? Uh... Yeah, you ought to try a bite of that, Jared. Yeah, Jared, try, try the, the meatball. meatball. Try the lig Watch ligament the meatball. meatball. Come on, almost albino. <laughs> uh, let's say hi to Chuck in Jersey. Chuck, what's up? Hey, how's it going, guys? Hey, hey man. All right, a little bit of information. I called her before left out about the gooey duck. Uh, Mike Rowe on 30 Jobs, he did eat it. However, uh, he did remove the skin first, and they only boiled it for six seconds. <laughs> well, we, we're over-boiling stuff because we, we want to be safe here. We have no idea how long you're supposed to boil this crap. <laughs> Oh, they probably oh. caught it. They probably caught it fresh on that show, anyway. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, ours have nice been sitting in a, a supermarket <laughs> waiting for a brave soul to oh, buy it. Oh, jeez, you probably get some like some other letter coli. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. L coli. <laughs> some other letter coli. <laughs> oh, you've got the M coli. That kind. We don't That's even have a cure for that. Way worse than <laughs> you got Q coli. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, so uh, you're going to try you're one, gonna of, those try one of those ligament uh, meatballs. Come on, duty fingers. Just eat the, eat the seafood. Yeah, come on. I don't like seafood. Here he goes. I That's a beef left product. Left thing. Huh? Yes. Yeah. 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 You can. I mean, don't go crazy. Come don't be on. a goose. Yeah. Yeah. Murder. Save room for dessert. There you go. No, pop the whole thing in your mouth. That's right. We yeah. Chew it. Now that is a uh, ligament. It's cow's ligaments. They've been mashed up and made into meatballs. Yeah, those. Were, and then boiled. What connects the muscles? Yeah, that gristle that you hit when you eat steak sometimes, and it really stinks. Is it going through your nose and smelling real bad? No. He's eating worse. It's the connective tissue actually inside of an animal's oh, body. Oh, he's gagging a little trying to swallow it. This kid's a trooper. Oh yeah. yeah. I think a trooper, a testicle. You downgraded him after what he did the other day. He does. He's been upgraded. I say a testicle, Sergeant. and he's done. <laughs> yeah, how you doing? Good. All right. Yeah. Old duty fingers is. Uh, he's just swallowing everything. You're wrecking our he, bit. He really he's is. loving he's this a, stuff. You're wrecking our mess. You're wrecking our boiled meat barbecue. I told you a guy like that who would do that. Right. He needs to eat no. two things. All right, we go to the tripe. No. We go to the tripe. Jim. Oh come on. Oh, no fish. Don't get digged. It's, not, that's it's not, not fish. It's not fish. That's sheep. Ew. It's a sheep. It's in the sheep family, not the fish family. Go ahead. <laughs> He's allergic to fish. He's to... Come on. No oh, he fish. Like he touched no it. No fish. What's wrong, with the, what's wrong with the touch of that thing? I don't like it. I got a bad feeling about this. It's not fish. No, it's all right. It's not don't fish. Don't worry. You know we what? promise it's not fish. No seafood, but I'll juggle dumb. Are you gagging touching it? Yeah. Why? I don't, I don't like it. What does it taste like? He's holding it. What does it taste yeah, I mean, what does it feel like? Feels like a, I believe it's a pizza snack without sauce. Wish you had ketchup. Put ketchup on everything. No. Oh, what a sweet boy. That's good. Just slap yeah. in your mouth and chew and on. hold on to it. You can do it. Come on. You wear a dung hat, but you won't eat tripe. Yeah, you did duties. I right, throw it in there. Let's go. Stop. There it is. That is the lining of a uh, stomach of a sheep. Yeah, you're you're eating sheep so lining. It's not. Now keep it in. Keep it in. Yeah. Suck guy swallowing out. everything. All those little nooks and crannies are where it digests its food. Where the blood coagulates. Yeah. <laughs> and they, if you saw that un un uh, washed, there's blood well clots in there. He ate it. Big boy ate it. Wow, you so are good. What did that taste like? Uh, I have no idea. He definitely is chewing Bad. his way to the top. He's yeah. going to make it. All right, what else has a kitty try? Got some liver, but I don't think it's going to be a problem. I think time. no, no, uh, no testes left. Do we have any uncooked? <laughs> I would need uncooked. Okay. No, I'm no. Saying, we could have. Oh. Put it back on the uh, in the boiling water. Could you cook some more testicles, sir? <laughs> Appreciate that. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, another order of testicles here, please. Yes, we have That's two just more sitting in the stomach too. Just oh. throw them at me. All right, what is, we'll try the liver just because nobody's had it yet. All right, what, what kind of liver is this? Travis? Beef. Beef. Well, what about the oxtail penis? Is that almost done? Almost. It's All right. Almost. How can you tell? Well, I want somebody else to try this stuff, too. He can't have this kid eating everything. He's loving it. This yeah. Is, this is a snack for him. Well, I hear the gooey duck isn't that bad. It no. just looks disgusting, and it's green and all that. But He was gagging, though, at the end. Look, again, he's gagging just touching the liver. By the way, Brian, the intern, will drink the water. The smell coming out oh. of these pans is just... I, I, I will bet money that you're throwing these pans out after today. <laughs> you're not going to get the smell out of these things anytime soon. E-Rock, e you want some gooey duck? No. I think E-Rock, I feel bad. E-Rock. Eric, Eric feels left out. Yeah, E-Rock, what's wrong? You want to try one? Dumpy boy number two is getting more attention. I don't like it. Have a little bit of... <laughs> It looks Welcome like pig nostrils when you slice it thin like that. Yeah, there's two holes. Looks like a pig's snout. All right, bite into one there, E-Rock. Eric's face is just built for swallowing something whole. <laughs> I want to see him just swallow like a snake and just watch it, watch his whole body get shaped like the food he's eating. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, but then there's a, a live rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> you, you going for the gooey duck? Uh, come on, Prime Evil. Here he goes. <laughs> Our own e rock. It's built for swallowing. Going for the gooey normal. duck. <laughs> What's it smell like? It smells like low tide. Yeah. <laughs> You're used to that smell. You, <laughs> you went out of the bird at the beat. Come on. But Jared ate the whole thing. Come on, man. He swallowed that. He yeah. swallowed the tripe. He swallowed all the stuff you guys puked up. Yeah. Except for that. Come on. Eat pelican. All right, guys. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> 
bite into that. <laughs> Come on, seagull cheeks. Just there he goes. Clump that in like. <laughs> oh. Come on. Nice gooey duck. Oh. Oh. Rock of my coop. Oh. You got a chance to eat it. What's the matter? It's stuck? <laughs> it was stuck oh, in his tooth. Man. It was stuck in his mouth. Oh, oh God. Oh, stuck boy. in between oh, his teeth. Stuck in his mouth. <laughs> What it tastes like? <laughs> oh, Jared swallowed that thing, that freak. What it tastes like, Iraq? <sighs> like, is it bad? Uh, yeah. <laughs> what does it taste like? It it tastes it, it, it tastes like you just took a fish out of the ocean and just bit right into it. <laughs> <laughs> so it has kind of a low tide, fishy. Yeah. Seaweed. A lot of, a lot of um, it smells like salt. Ah, it smells like fish that you would leave in the sun for a while. Uh, oh, it's 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 bait, pretty much. <laughs> it's bait. People eat this. <sighs> All right. I, I don't think they cook it this way. They it's probably spice it up a little. And what good could it be? Unless you could boil something and eat it. I don't care what you put on it. Uh, I bet you something of sex for sexual something. Yeah, let's go to Jackie on Long Island. Yeah. Jackie. Yeah. Guys, this is gross. I had to pull over on the LIE. I was heaving. Oh. <laughs> you don't really sound believable. Yeah, yeah, her voice sounds like something you boil. Like, it sounds oh, like... guys. <laughs> it was disgusting. <laughs> I'm walking into work, so I can't... She sounds like she eats it cigarettes. It so gross. Yeah. Sounds like a setup call. <laughs> like we set this up. Like, hey, God. What do you think? Wow. Yeah. Oh, God. What is that? Uh, what, what? This, I believe, is the sea cucumber. What? It, what does it smell like, Anthony? Jeez. Can Can you just spray it for all of us? No. Horrendous. I spray it on the napkin and just wave it in front of my face. It's my own personal... <laughs> But you can't even smell it anymore. Zone when you're in here, you, safe, just, you don't safety. smell it anymore. It's when you leave Being and come back. back. All right, what does the uh, sea cucumber smell like? Anybody? Good one. A cucumber is such a safe vegetable, too. It doesn't smell. It's it's kind of clammy. Yeah. Clammy. That's what you want. All right, who wants to try this? Wash it down with some clam mato juice. <laughs> who thought that one up? Let's put clam juice and tomato juice together and make it a beverage. <laughs> Give you two guesses. <laughs> 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 Danny, you won't be looking long for yes, sir. Green, no. yeah. it might be looking long. <laughs> hey, why don't you have some? Come on, let's uh, have, a, have a garbage juice chaser. All <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, on, Danny's gonna try one. Let's lady in the trampet. Well, I'll get one end. You get one end. <laughs> That's right. Meet in the middle. What is a sea cucumber anyway? I'm guessing it was alive. Oh you know, everything smells because everything's been boiled in the same pot, so it all just smells the same. It's just all. Is it like a sea urchin type thing, or is it like from the? <laughs> <laughs> you got a wh uh, whiff of it. Uh. I want to be a sport, but I don't even. I don't. I don't think I can. It, do that. Kind of, it. it looks like a like seal. An eel. <laughs> I thought it looked like a baby seal. Have some sea cucumber. Oh right? no, that's a sea cucumber. Yeah, yeah. It's cute. Right, it's, well, a, it's a cute animal. It's cute. It doesn't have a face. It looks like a little otter. Have a little yeah, well, an otter without a head. What's wrong, Travis? Nothing. It's it's a uh, its skeleton is right below the skin. So. Oh really? Yeah. So what happened? You and those were alive when I bought them too. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! It has a skeleton. Right, who's going to crunch into the skeleton? That's scary. Can who's you, brave enough to bite into this one? Can you eat the skeleton, Travis? I don't know. He doesn't know. What does he know no, about this? Just watch out for any bones. Yeah, maybe it's one of those things Just like take a, a little fish. nibble. Take out the poison something. Yeah, yeah. He's going to go. Don't eat the Q. Why don't you Google Q? <laughs> Cucumber and see if it's safe. The, the cumber or the Q. They need some guy from Hong Kong that's actually done this 8,000 times before he's allowed to serve it to people. Gee whiz. What's wrong, Danny? I don't know if I could do this at okay. all. Is it really fishy and yeah, clammy it's and very? It's, it's slimy. Like I touched it with my finger and I'm sniffing my finger and getting nauseous. Why do you do that? You sure that isn't from your weekend? <laughs> Why don't you do this? Hold it, just hold it in your mouth without chewing. Hold Teas it in your mouth. Teasing, of course. I'll, I'll attempt. Uh, we yeah, do I'll have a fun it. fact coming in. Um, the sea cucumber ejects its innards when frightened. <gasps> all 
right. It basically vomits its own guts out. Yes. It pukes its guts up so, and scares away anything. So basically what you're seeing is some of its own guts that has been boiled down. Come on, eat its defense mechanism. All right, let's go. Its insides. Not unlike the sea lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> the, sea, the sea broccoli <laughs> is a pussy. <laughs> unlike the sea. That's right. I, I say we have a little contest so you could chew it the longest. Oh, that's a good idea. Who wants, All to, right. who wants to go for the chewing competition? Where's duty hand? Yeah, get Jared. Jared, oh, come on hand. back in here. It's hot. <laughs> Pat, are you willing to chew? Uh, uh, sure. Pat from Monaki wants to give it. All right, oh, Pat. Danny's gagging just smelling his fingers. All right, we'll get, we're going to have a chewing contest. Oh, God. oh, Danny's gagging. Who wants to start? Oh, God. Oh, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> It's a lot of dry heaving going on. Oh, What's up, Travis? Another fun fact. Yeah. Sea cucumber. Can I restate my uh, answer? Go ahead, Travis. Apparently, the the flesh of the sea cucumber is cleaned in a process that takes several days, not several minutes. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yes. Thank you. Why, why is that? I'm just reading what Wikipedia tells me. So what do we? how do we not have somebody who knows how to cook this stuff so we know no one's being poisoned? Well, how poisonous could something from the sea be? All right, let's go. Uh, Pat, you want to start oh, off extremely. the chewing competition? Uh, I hate to lose. Uh, All right, here comes Pat. He's going to be in the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest tomorrow on ESPN, right? They yes. do that live? Yep. All right. High noon. Oh, yeah. Look for uh, the ball guy. Look for the star of the baby bird video uh, on ESPN tomorrow. Do you not eat for, for the... I need since uh, Sunday morning. Driving back from Mohegan. Oh, really? You hungry? Keeping that stomach, uh, you know, today? empty for the, yeah. the competition. Uh, Pat, are you going to be way at the end again so we don't get to see you? Or do you know what position you, you're taking in the crowd? Uh, nah, they usually just uh, announce you. I'll be down the other end. There'll be the winners on one end and me down towards That's the other. That's pretty end. cheap. I know. This is my third year in a row. Yeah, I heard it's not good to have down. an empty stomach before you uh, put, take on this thing. Yeah. Uh, no, well, you keep filled with, like, uh, liquids to keep the stomach stretched out and and whatever this is. <laughs> it's like slugs. All right, let's, uh, anyone oh. got a stopwatch? I want to see how Go. long you can chew this before you right. get rid of it. Well, well, it's a competition, right? Yeah. All right. So let's give the guys a piece. Just get ready. Everyone gets a piece. One at a time. Here All we right. go. Pat will set the mark. All right, you just pick it up and hold it. <laughs> Pat, look, Pat looks like what does it feel like? <laughs> Pat looks like where are they now powder. Pick, pick it up and hold it. Okay, you it, got one. It kind of looks like it kind of looks like grab a piece. It kind of looks like overcooked runny eggplant. <laughs> but All it doesn't right, taste. Hold, hold, hold on, hold on, not yet, Pat. Wait for Danny because he's got to grab a piece and go head to head with you. <laughs> Come on there, Danny. I don't think I could do this. Yeah, you got the garbage pail right there. That was just just throw in your mouth and start chewing. And duty hand, grab one too. Yeah. How about one at a time? Pat breath sets breath the mark. Me. Pat, set the mark. Let's go. Pat will set the mark. Uh, Dan, tell him when to go. Okay. Oh, God. Have some of sea cuke. Three, two, one. Go. <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> <laughs> how, how is it? <laughs> and it's coming out. <laughs> he, just, <laughs> he sucked it back in. Ah, oh, oh, there it goes. How, how long? 21 seconds. 21 seconds. <laughs> he kept it for 21 seconds. I can't. You can. Go on, Danny. If I one hot dog Wednesday, it's all your fault. <laughs> Come on, Danny. <laughs> God, Danny. Now? Get a good one. Powder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Patrice. <laughs> Danny, have some. I can't. I, I can't even I just. Have to swallow it. I can't even look at it without. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> just the smell of it on my finger is absolutely atrocious. You I can put. You could down. pick up one little piece and All put right, it in your go. mouth. <laughs> Twenty-one seconds is, uh, this is great. what you have to beat. Jared, you want in? 21 seconds. Come on, Jared. Please. Come on, Jared. Let's go. Jared go. Duty hand. Is it Jared, E Rock, or Danny? All right. Here comes Duty hand. All right, Jared. Try to beat 21 seconds. You're becoming a star the oh, last He two doesn't days. even like it. Get that in. I don't like touching and, it. And chew past 21 seconds. Here we go. Oh, wow. That's a big leechy. Dan, tell him one. when to go. He's got it in his hands. All right. Three, two, one, go. 
It's in his mouth. You got to oh. chew, though. Chew. chew, son. Don't be a goose. Oh, oh he's, he's gagging. Chewing. He's oh. chewing. It's like a big leech or a tick in his mouth. He's yeah. chewing. It's very he's mushy. He's got crazy eyes. Are you still chewing? He's chewing. It's mushy. <laughs> what you say? He got crazy eyes. He does he's got, got crazy eyes. He really man. does, yeah. doesn't he? Wow. Get, get See, it. We can't. This kid is like. Back of your throat. This kid, this kid is he's ruining. Just, he's just hungry. Boiled, our boiled meat barbecue. He's no, he's starving. swallowing everything. He's proving that it's doable, though. 19 seconds. He laughs at Pat from Monaki's 21 seconds. <laughs> this kid will do an hour and a half. Want to take my place at the table? Look, he looks up and, and he's concent concentrating on something other than that slimy mess of leech in his mouth. All right, you're done. Ugh. And there he goes. He spit it out. He's, he's gagging a little bit. All right, where's Danny? Before break, let's see how long Danny could uh, go. Danny left the room hoping we'd forget about him. We didn't. Well, we got a sub real quick. We'll get Danny in here later. You want in? All right, I'll give it a shot. Clay, go. All right. All right. Where is it? What's your name? I know we call you Clay behind your back, but what? Green Brody? No, what's your name? Evan. Evan. This is a sea cucumber? Yeah, yes. yeah. It looks like what? Eggplant, kind of? Greasy eggplant? Oh, you're kidding me. Here's this Dan. is like... It was found near the Little Mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> Jared uh, pretty much kept it in his mouth until we told him to spit it out. All right, here's Evan. There it goes. Did he swallow it? No, he, 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 he came close to swallowing it. He but chewed he chewed it as long as he could. He chewed it for about 30 I to 40 seconds. I just want know that I don't even eat fish. No. All right, here well, we go. Chew it and let the juices <laughs> come out of it. <laughs> Swallow the juices. Here we go. Crap. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, God, he's gagging and puking. Oh, his bile coming up. <laughs> Oh, God. oh, he's got. Oh, that's a big line of. <laughs> Did he break the record? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even last a second. What does it taste like? Uh, I don't even. I don't even know what the heck. I, let me give it a shot. Are right, you gonna? Wow, try he's gonna right. try again with a trooper. Why? And he said, "Heck." All right, here we go. He's gonna try again. Right, a goes. guy here with a face that looks like Molly Ringwall should be a little tougher. All right, he's chewing, he he's chewing, he's, he's chewing. He's chewing, he's trying. He's, he's biting it in half. He's gagging, he's, though. Oh he's, he's having a hot, tough time. <laughs> he can't keep it in his mouth, and he tried. Go. Oh, oh, oh he's God. Oh, God, oh, God. Oh, his face is so red. <laughs> hey, he's a trooper, though, He took man. a second one. That is... What does it taste like? It doesn't taste like... It doesn't taste seafoody. It doesn't... You want more? Food. Are you acquiring a taste for this? As you, <laughs> it's the consistency that's getting you more than the taste. Do you, it's like there's a sticky film over it. Uh, mm. Oh, really, sweetie? A sticky film. <laughs> Look who just got here. All right, Danny's turn. Before we go to break, it's a sticky consistency. <laughs> that is he horrific. A little cute. He actually eating sissy. He tried. He tried another one though. It's getting cold. Shut up. <laughs> it's getting cold. <laughs> <laughs> I, I came very close to puking in the bathroom. To puking? I see you got a big roll of paper towels there just in case. All right. I have to hook if I do this? I didn't say anything to you. <laughs> For old time's sake. Yeah. Tom, can I eat a sea cucumber? Yeah, can't do it. All right, Danny's staring at the plate of sea cucumbers. Oh, it is so Lovely. absolutely disgusting. Oh boy, I I I, right, I couldn't record? imagine doing it. I would never do this. Pretend it's a tequila. My one. family would have to like die as I sit there with the plate of that in front of me, going, "I'm sorry, I'm sorry, family." What's the, what's the record? Forty six seconds. Forty six seconds. Yeah. You gonna give me real time and I yeah. screw around? Yeah. You're really gonna go for this? Do you think? Uh, Danny's going for a second. You're I going have to. to. I did bad today. I got to do it. All right, here we go. I did bad. I did I, bad. I'm bad. 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 Get him on the clock. Three, okay. two, one, go. <laughs> He's chewing with his nose plugged. One. One thousand. How many seconds is that? <laughs> He's doing really He's slow chew. bites. You gotta chew, one. man. Chew. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, God. Now, do you taste it? <laughs> oh, he's gagging. Do you oh, taste there it? he goes. The gagging Danny, by the way, is hysterical. Yeah. <laughs> what does it taste like? <laughs> he does that. <laughs> Take a slug out of your driveway oh. and put it in your mouth. <laughs> Is that bad? <laughs> he does that. <laughs> How's that? Did the film get you, any of the film scrape on your teeth? Like there's a filmy substance covering there's it. Grit on it too. Yes, there's 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 like a. <laughs> 
like cement dust. Wait, did it smell your finger? It looks like Big Boy made a duty. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my gosh. Big Boy. Hands are all marked it up. It stinks in here. So all right. Oh, bad. he's still dry heaving over well, there. Danny, was it was it bad? Did it taste like it looked like it was going to taste? It's it's. Like smell your fingers. How, how bad do your fingers smell? <laughs> just smell your fingers. You couldn't chew it. I, it, I don't have to because I can still taste it. It's Listen, still. Just smell your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like it's like a rotting beach. It's a rotting beach. It's absolutely atrocious. Can you taste this? Yeah, take it. You got to take it on a bite. You're not swallowing it. You're not eating it. You know, I'm just, I, I, I was just very, I was very much trying to just hold it. What is that right there? Please hold it. Which one? Uh, right. More of the same There's more, crap. There's more I said what, what else we got? Well, we got to take a break. We got to get into the boiled pig's head. Well, we An entire pig's head has been boiled. What else we got? We got a couple more uh, sheep testicles oh. ready to go. All right, we got a couple more sheep testicles uh, ready to go. And uh, what, the oxtail penis, is that ready? I think we should go for it, yeah. All right, we'll go for the oxtail penis next. It's... Uh, <laughs> it's the boiled meat barbecue. It's always good to eat a, uh, something he says I think is ready. On <laughs> <laughs> Opie and Anthony. Body. Yeah, it's Opie and Anthony, Patrice O'Neill in studio. Kind of screwing that? off uh, the day before a long weekend. It's our boiled meat barbecue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Jared is uh, is the oh. is the true champ so far. That pig head looks ridiculous. Yeah, it's a, it's a complete... Ah. Oh. Pig head. I hope we got a lot of good pictures of that. Yeah, and what do you eat off that thing? Does anyone know? Flies. <laughs> I want someone to chew the nose. It, yeah, someone nibble on his little nose. All we doing, all we missing is like an island full of little white boys. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> hey, Patrice, what are you plugging, man? Uh, I'm at Stand Up New York this whole weekend. Uh, Stand Up New York, 78 and Broadway. Yeah. Uh, all all weekend long, Friday, Saturday, all shows. Two one two five nine five zero eight five zero. Yes, sir. Oh, good old days. Thank you. Stand Up New York, 78 Broadway. I'm be there all weekend. Patrice O'Neill. You on all four? Shows? Oh my God! All shows, all the shows. What is that? We have more testicles we cooked for Jared. Ah. And, uh, the ox penis is ready. Oh, See, good. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Why did you have to cook up a whole plate of uh, testicles? No, that's one the guy ox gets penis. one, they all want them. What is that? That's the ox penis. That, oh, cut. my. Are you serious? Yeah. All chopped up? Mm hmm. Why does it look like it has, like, jelly on it? Well, <laughs> it's like well. donut holes. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. How about a little ox penis for everybody? <laughs> for everybody. Here, pass it around. I won't even look at it. All right, here. Please, if it's not hanging out under a dress, I'm not interested. Pass around the ox penis. <laughs> See if anybody wants some. I'll well, just smell it. We're bigger than U.S. steel. Just smell it. The juice coming off it is pretty pretty bad. Oh, it's a uh, far away phone call Tuesday. We got Dale in South Korea. Dale, what's up? Hey, what's happening? Love you, love you so. Thank All right. You. You're calling from South Korea? Yep. What day is it? It's, uh, let's see, where is it? Tuesday night. Tuesday uh, night? 9.45 p.m. Let me tell you what happens. Oh, wait, I can't. No. No, oh, you could you us. tell me what happens? Can you give us the lottery numbers? What are the lottery numbers? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Oh, yeah, right? Yeah, that old gag. Yeah, because he's in the future. You're in the future, dude. You're where we're going to be later. What are you doing in South Korea? I'm teaching English in the American way to Korean children. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. And where are you from in the States? I'm actually from New Jersey Thanks. and uh, been a long-time listener since, uh, you know, the 90s, actually. Okay. Great. Oh, and, He's from Jersey. He's teaching them to drive worse. <laughs> of course, it got dumped, but XM heard it. <laughs> Why would it get uh, dumped? I have no idea. I'll kiss you. Uh, were you, uh, uh, what was I going to say? I don't know. There's not much we could do with uh, Dale in South Korea. Uh, are you ever coming home or what? Uh, yeah, actually, I'm coming home next month. Yeah? I've been here seven years. Seven years. And uh, <laughs> time to come home. Do you eat kimchi? I don't even know her. <laughs> no? How about sea cucumbers? Dale, is there a delay on the phone, or are you uh, a little slow yourself? What's up? Uh, no, it's probably the computer connection. Yeah. All right. You want to say hi to your family back in Jersey? Uh, yeah. And say hello to my family, Serge, Natalie, and everybody else. All right. Thank you, Dale. Dude, run across the 38th parallel. Could you just do that okay. for us on the phone? Yeah, live. Just run across it live. Well, how many miles are you away from that? 
Uh, from the DMZ, about yeah. 38 miles. 38 miles. All right, we'll call you. Grab a Jeep and speed towards it with us on the phone. 30, you, 38 I, miles. We'll call you tomorrow at this time. How do you say gay voice in Korean? How do you say what in Korean? Nothing. All right, Dale, thank you. <laughs> Far away phone call Tuesday. There's a call from South Korea. Now, one thing I've noticed about Far Away Call Tuesday... The calls are indeed from far away. Yeah. But they are useless. <laughs> Absolutely. Hi. I'm oh, in Jersey. Hi. Yeah. All right. The big uh, the big finish. So what do we got, Jared? What do you got in front of you? You got the oxtail penis. Mm-hmm. Pop one of those bad boys oh, in your mouth. Oh, he's just carving up that face. Just a whole bunch of goodness. Man. See, you should have done what Sam did. Sam, like, puked or threw it out right away, and he was done. He's like, no. You've been a trooper the whole way, so you're... Sam's a fuddy-duddy. You keep enticing us to continue, so let's go. You enticed us. <laughs> I think this might be the... Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah let's see. It. All right, grab one of those oxtail penises. Let me uh, watch, uh, watch him at work. He's been a professional so far. Yeah, throw that whole thing in your mouth and bite down. Just pop that in your mouth. Jared yum, is yum, a, yum. Jared is a psychopath. There it goes. And then Good try day. to describe for us what it, the consistency and texture is as you're eating. We don't care if you talk with your mouth full. What's yeah. that hole? Yeah, what is that hole? Oh, what's that, you, like, dark What's that dark thing running through it? Well, we the, sliced this thing. Urethra? It looks like a vein. No, it's it's the... Uh, yeah, it is. Is it? Yeah, well, yeah. He was urethra? Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Go ahead. Urethra Frank, Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he was going to go there. <laughs> Thank you, Pat. Oh, no problem. All right, go ahead there, Jared. No Pop that thing in your mouth. There it goes. He's... All right. Chew it. Chew, chew it. Chew. What is it? What is chew. It? Oh, oh. Chew. <laughs> oh, no. He didn't last long at all. Damn it. Jeez. Eric, why did he do that? Why did he throw up so quickly? Erock's a better describer than Jared. Erock, you want to chew some of that and, and let us know about it? Yeah, no, Erock. Um, I think he, he, he started to lose it because it crunched. Yeah. As soon as he bit ah, into it, it did like, it? you're a better describer. Take some. You, you yeah, you're right now. You're great at descriptive radio. I gotta tell you, we found uh, we found your calling. You're great at describing yeah, this food. Stuff. All right, pop one of those uh, things in you. Mm. Looks like an hors d'oeuvre. Kiss it first. All right, smell it first. Whoa! <laughs> All right, oh, what does it whoa. smell like? Well, for meat, it smells like seafood. Oh, okay, it shouldn't be that bad. <sighs> All right, here we go. Oh, this has a nice hole through it. <laughs> it no one looks like a scallop wrapped in very fatty bacon. Yeah, that, it yeah. looks like that, all right. Do you know they serve that at Morton's, and it's delicious, a scallop wrapped in bacon? Oh, yeah, it those are really good. One of the finest oh. treats ever. So what you're do you, in luck, you, Eric. Oh, God, look at the hole. The, and the, the, the hole inside the muscle. Is, is a very dark purple. Yeah. I'm passing a stone. <laughs> are you guys cooling off some of the water for the intern? All right, here we go. Okay, let her rip, Iraq. Let her rip. Just throw it in and just start chewing. chewing. Just go nuts and just start chewing. This all being captured live on Pal Talk, by the way. We got a couple of great camera views. Here it goes. Chew. Go for a couple of quick <laughs> chews. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> Oh, what what happened? happened? He bit down on it and it crunched. Oh. What happened, Iraq? What got gotcha? <laughs> it 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 made that noise and it separated. <laughs> and then it, <laughs> please tell me it shot some juice at you or something. It was like chewing a rubber glove. <laughs> <laughs> All right, why don't you try another one? Yeah, you spit it out your waist. Yeah, come on. Yeah. You didn't even get the taste. You know of how it. this works. We got to make good radio of... out of it. You're you're spilling it. Goodness. Stop. You're Three seconds isn't it. good enough radio. Let's go for fifteen here. <laughs> All right, just throw it in. Chomp, 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 chomp. What are you picking at? This guy, this has a vein. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> eat it. it <laughs> All right, here you go. Got to drain the main vein. <laughs> All right, throw here it. Here he goes. There. And just Pop go nuts. Mouth. Just I'll, go nuts. I want to hear the crunch. Just chew, put yeah. it right near the mic, and ho hold on for dear life. Let's hear it. Mm. Here it goes. Here it goes. Mm. <laughs> 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 wow. Oh, God. 
<laughs> oh, is that disgusting? <laughs> what happened? It's under Anthony's chair. Yeah, roll under your chair. Uh, and just reach down and grab that. Yeah, just yeah. grab it. Oh, I'll grab it with my mouth. <laughs> That's wonderful. Oh, did that sound disgusting? That crunching noise was like pure gristle. No, yeah, oh, drinking water. water. All right. <laughs> what do we got left? Danny doesn't want any. The grand finale, nope. the water? It's a pig. Danny. The pig's face, the whole pig's face. What, what are we going to do with the pig's face? We don't even know what to do with the damn thing. I up. Oh, you carved up the pig's face? That, uh... Did you leave the nose intact? I actually took off just the tip. Oh, good. Nose. Who's going to eat the... The That's, tip of the pig's nose. This is the uh, the tip of the nose. This is the tongue that I diced up. That's the ear, and those are the cheeks. You know what? Uh, E-Rock, the cheeks are easy. Go with the nose. E-Rock Go with the nose. That's a good point. What? E-Rock what? What's up, E-Rock? A good point. What happened? Steve hasn't done anything yet. Yeah. Steve. Steve. I, I see I a, a little. Pulled the uh, executive trump card on this one, and uh, yes, and 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 subjected everyone else to I this misery. I see a little nibble on something. Yeah, try the nose. If you saw some of the things I put in my mouth at night, <laughs> you wouldn't even argue. Yeah. Absolutely. Fine, I walked in the door. <laughs> <laughs> is it weird doing this without looking out for the police? <laughs> <laughs> what is this this gay thing with Big Steve? I don't get it. They think it's, I'm queer oh, because I dress like a homo. Because he dresses gay, and when he gets exasperated, his hands, he gesticulates like a homosexual. <laughs> very, very articulate. And his diction is perfect. His diction is perfect. I'm going down. <laughs> Hello, buddy. Right. <laughs> Throw it in there. All right, this what, is... What is uh, is it a pig snout? I believe so. Yeah, as right. indicated by the curvature. Here. All right, throw it in there. Maybe eyebrows like Dan or Ross can't help you. Go ahead, Steve. There you go, Steve. It's crunchy. Oh. It's like, it's like the yeah. skin it's, is like a it's football. Like... Oh, boy. Oh, no. <laughs> Problem? Well, really, it's the fact that... What? booger in your mouth? Yeah, it's like a booger. <laughs> well, he had but no like... problem, but now he's starting to have a problem. What's going on? That's the matter, Steve. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> um... Well, first of all, it tastes awful. The consistency is, um, it's like, uh, like a really fatty piece of meat. <laughs> it's, uh... <laughs> Breathing heavy. Yeah, so... One of my love handles. Get it. Oh, get it. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't hear that? Love what? No. Pat from Minaki goes, oh. it tastes like one of my love handles. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh... Oh my goodness, look at the time. You're right, Kenny, you look panic stricken. Ah, right, you look. Okay. <laughs> Put his glasses on and everything. Yeah, hold on. H hold on. We'll, we'll... All right, uh, Patrice O'Neill, stand up New York all weekend long. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. And uh, who are you? Oh. I'm Brian. Okay. Hey, Brian. How you doing? You look like the guy from uh, True Romance who threw coffee in Elliot's face, but it's skinnier. No? All right. And, <laughs> and we've been boiling this stuff in this pot, so so now you got this just awful, <laughs> awful, awful, awful water. You're going to try to drink some of this? Yeah. I'm and gonna, here's, what, here's what you're going to do. Is it safe for him to swallow it? the water? No, no, no. Here's what you're going to do. Just gargle you're it? You're going to turn 90 mother degrees. No, no, that's not 90. 90 is that way. Right. And the mic will be good. There you go. You're not drinking that facing me, All right. jackass. Take a bit. I almost had a piece of that. Uh, this is the water that uh, all this stuff was uh, boiled in. So why don't you yeah. take a big gulp and uh, do a little gargling with it. Hurry up, Paul. And then body it. face. All right, here we go. Hurry. We're running out of show. You don't have to gargle. <laughs> oh, wow, did he poop. Oh, did he poop. Oh, God, that stinks. Oh, he went in for a second shot. Swallow it. Oh, God. Patrice, thank you very much. We're going to we're gonna continue on the other side. Uh, we want to thank uh, the EMT for showing up today. Oh. And uh, uh, Chef... You want your name out there? Yeah. Ha Chef Steven? Yeah. Keep it right there? Yeah, he doesn't want Mystery the real plug Chef. today. We'll, we'll get you a real plug next time. Chef Mengele. That, that's our <laughs> boiled meat barbecue. We're going to continue on next time. If not, we'll see you guys soon. Thanks. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, is that the one that they thought was naked but wasn't? Yeah. yeah. She's very pretty, but she's not as high as I remember. She kind of has rabbity teeth. What? 
That's you don't the, like that a little bit? Rabbity? Well, I'm not saying. rabbity teeth like like Bug Bunny or anything, but just a little bit, a slight little overbite I think is adorable. That'd be very cute. I'm just saying she's not as hot as I remember. She's more cute. Like I want to scooch her under the chin. I like braces too. I think Tom's adorable in them. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> the cook uh, bailed, huh? Why oh yeah. We could have had more food eating. Uh, right? Food eating. We want it out as soon as possible. That was not food. Yeah. I like braces, but I like them when they're there because of polio. <laughs> Is Patrice really sleeping, or is he just uh, resting his eyes? I was really asleep. I'm sorry. He was uh, definitely out. He knew he had, like, uh, a few minutes in what between. A, what a so weird day. he decided, ah. There's a girl that was passed down in the green room. Patrice is sleeping. Danny doesn't know where out? it is. What the <laughs> fuck is going on? Here? My blood sugar was low. I'm sorry. That was kind of sweet. You need a cookie or something? You need something? Are you know, all right? Sorry about that. Okay. You know, it, it wait, wait. Are you all right? Yeah, he's fine. Well, your blood sugar you... was low. What do we do for that? Yeah. I was just blaming him. I was just saying Pump a load shit. of jizz in his mouth. <laughs> no, nah, I need sugar. you need a little batch of seeds? <laughs> no, nah, I need sugar. <laughs> no. Want some OJ or something? Fine. You all right? No. See, Patrice knows. OJ? I know. Juice. I know Patrice is Somebody get on. Patrice some orange juice? He needs some juice. When the blood sugar level drops, you need to do a little sugar. Yeah. Even though you're diabetic, right? I was, I was deep rim for a minute. I heard you snoring when I walked in. Jeez. You were so, so big, sleepy. I would have done something to you. He went out in a second. Were, were you up late last night? Or? I never went to sleep. Oh, you didn't? Okay. Up marinating chicken until 4 in the morning. Up for the big cookout. Mm -hmm. I had to beg my way into a barbecue. I had to go, well, how come I wasn't invited? He's like, well, you can come. I try to go, you too. You can come. No, nah, oh, he doesn't want us that's... there. He no, doesn't want, he doesn't no. want the neighborhood to it's know gonna he's out with white people. No, it's going to ruin his street cred. No, it's not. Oh, Bob white Kelly people? doesn't count, because Bob Kelly, you can say, is like kind of... I'm Bob up, Kelly could absolutely be Puerto Rican. Yes. I've upgraded to, to white people. At Have you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Congrats. Mm -hmm. But you didn't really give us a, a, a nice invite. <laughs> I, I tried. Invite Jimmy you. tried. It's just, it's just, it, it's just it's like, almost like formalities, you know. Come on now. That's hey, a Jim, biggie. When did hey, you Jim, Obi, and uh, at least Anthony doesn't pretend. I, nah, not at all. Obi, be like, hey, I'll come. Yeah, you you and your girl, come on. I want an uh, evite. I want mm -hmm. an evite. Just to be an invited. An evite. <laughs> no, I, I, I like hanging out with Patrice. We, we we can chat about things, but going over a cookout at his house or something like that, I, I don't see that your happening. House could probably, I could just take my house and just move it into your house. Like the way they did the but Unabomber's I, house and they took him to court? <laughs> they just picked it up and put it on a truck? <laughs> just put it right in there and take it over to Anthony's have it, you know? I'm sure you have, have a lovely place. Have his house babysit place. my house while I'm out of town. I'm certain you have a lovely place. I probably just will never see it. At least you're being honest. I I just thought I don't I I'd don't. I'd like to see your place though. Oh, that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Why not? Can you not be racist for five seconds? <laughs> it's hard for me. I want to see you. <laughs> Let's go by his house. I'm yeah. kidding. Actually, uh, me and my girlfriend have had many discussions about maybe uh, having you um, stand out on the balcony in the front of the house to really get the neighbors pissed. Why? Because they're all Jewish. You know, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to be quite honest with okay. you. I know you like to identify with white people. Yeah, I try. But you and your brother have the look oh, I know. of yeah. Quentin Tarantino and um, and and what's the other guy? George Clooney from Dawn of the... Uh, what's that one? Dust Till Dawn. Dust Till Dawn. Both of you just look like you've done bad things. You don't look like yeah. like average white neighbors. I know. That's why I, I'm not like you know the guy. Hi, nice to see you mowing the lawn. Brother Joe of has a has an evil look in his eye. Both both of you guys yeah. look like you've done something. It, the, yeah. The guys from the Star Chamber who are driving the van with the bloody kid shoe in it. Oh my God. Good <laughs> reference. Hal Holbrook should hire someone to kill you. <laughs> like your neighbors don't look in the like, top of the morning. No, no, definitely not. You guys, yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. You got a sinister look in your eye. Yeah. So, but I'm a nice guy. I'm a nice guy too. I want to come visit your home. All right, you're cordially invited to my home. And you know I'll never come. I know. I want to come though. You're as bad I as I am. You. That's why you didn't want to invite these guys. No, it's here. because I know they're not coming. Is that That's it? Exactly. You know, I invited. Um, I'd come. I invited Danny. Jimmy would go. Did you? Yeah. Well, Danny's kind of Danny kind of falls into a category too. But he's committed to it. It kind of it kind of siphons into the to the Black Phillip thing. Like, yeah. So I'll I'll invite like Drew Boogie. He might come. Yeah. But I invited him to some Drew came and he thought it would be strippers and dancing girls and he got bored and left. <laughs> Who came? And uh, Drew Boogie. He left. He just came and left. See, yeah. Danny can be seen as something other than pure white too. 
you know. But I thought I think Danny. I I look at Danny like uh, like I wouldn't invite Than. I don't think the Than would ever. You know, Than wouldn't come. Than's mm. weird any goddamn way. Um, I drove him home from the Long Island gig. Yeah, just too. Him and his girl are just two strange people. <laughs> just just strange. Everybody's strange. Like I've invited Danny because it's like we get we have moments. You know, you have moments with somebody. Yeah. And I have like moments where I feel for Danny. Sure. And I go, Danny, you want to come over? And Danny, but Danny's committed to doing anything that everybody from the show does. Goes. Right. Like, he's doing the boat thing. That's how I knew about the boat thing. See. But you Norton would never come. Thing. I go, Norton, you want to come to a cow? Hey. He'll mumble. And then I go. go. What do? I just didn't think I would have invited you, but I didn't think a black guy on a boat full of white people would have been a no, you, fun thing you, for you. It, see, here's the thing. I un, I love context. I understand context. Yeah. You didn't invite me because you know ultimately I'm not coming. That's true. Okay. You you invite people that you feel may come, not just yeah. to feel invited. That's true. Like you don't. I don't need to get invited to something. I, realistically, I probably wouldn't show up for. Yeah. That's why I wouldn't invite Opie. Opie will go. Eh. I might show up. Uh, might show up. You, if I put FH in front of my house, maybe. <laughs> Dude, you feel, but you're you're giving the impression that your feelings are hurt if you give a invite and the person doesn't show up. Yeah, why? Not my feelings are hurt. That's kind of sissious, but hmm. it there's a you know you invite people that you want to come. There's a purpose. So to you your plan. Inviting. You know. Yeah. You yeah. Plan. Would you would you like Jimmy and I to go to your barbecue? No, I'll tell uh, you why. All right. Jimmy would go. He, he he his his attention span would be. He'll have ADD for a social thing if it wasn't. If I didn't have like a a cooler with wine and then another cooler with frozen shit <laughs> and he'd piss on the rocks and uh, and Opie would come for a second and just not know anybody and just is and then people would go and if anybody who wasn't familiar with the show yeah. treated him just like a regular white boy who was standing at the party. Like, hey, and who are you? Um, I'm Opie. Uh, and then it's gonna be black girls there. Opie, what? Like the white boy from Wanda Wanda Wanda? And uh, he'll be, be like, fun. See, now that but now you're making fun. it sound fun. It's now you're making fun. it sound fun. It's like be fun. a lot of black chicks. Yeah, because that'd be funny. That'd be good fun by via a lot my of friend black will. chicks. Black chicks via Will. My really? Friend. Yeah, oh. Will has a lot of hot. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. He's a Haitian with awful feet, and he has a lot of hot <laughs> you, friends. His, Can we boil his feet for dude, the next contest? <laughs> it is fuck. He he. And no one knows who he is. He has eighteen thousand MySpace friends. And they're really? all models. And he's coming. Yeah, Will's a mess. Wow. Uh, I don't know how he knows so many chicks, but he has nice... Will's friends are nice. Will has uh, oh, all Jesus. hot black chicks. And they're all really nice. I've met a lot of them at the Comedy Cellar. He doesn't fuck them. He just hangs no? out with them. Yeah. So it's going to be half friends. It's, it's some of my people, some of my girls' people, some of my family. Yeah. And some of Will's people. Well, Any white we'd people. Fit in? He didn't think we'd... Patricia didn't it's not a fit in thing. Any white people. You know not fit in? Yeah, uh... Big Jay's going. Well, he's not white though. He but Jay works the black circuit too. Uh, Russ, Russ is an official white guy. Yes, he is. Um, mm. that's it. I just didn't think you uh, guys right. would go. Two, period. Two, two white people. But it wasn't. You didn't think I'd fit in or be fun to be. I around. would love to invite you Aww. if I thought you would come, but you're full of shit. No, I'm not. <laughs> Jimmy's friend, starting to get around a little bit more. I like no, he's not. Jimmy's Jimmy, starting to socialize if, a little bit more than he used somebody to. Somebody higher up invited him. He that's where he goes. Jimmy is a social <laughs> climber. Yeah, that's true. Piece of Jimmy dog is, shit. Not I'll go, Jimmy, enough. as my friend, come come over. Yeah, no. He's, he's kind of right about that. I'm waiting for no. the head of bit, whatever, 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 <laughs> and whatever. He never invite me anywhere. Whatever, whatever, and whatever. Why do you think not? You're full of shit. You call Jimmy. This is what Jimmy does. You call him. <laughs> hey, hey. First of all, I consider Jimmy a friend. We never talk. <laughs> Ever. I call him like, hey, Jim, what's going on? Ah, no, 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 no. Dude, I got. Let me call you back. All right, Jim. This is why. Because this is what stupid does. You're talking to him for a minute. Stupid. He gets whatever information he needs when he calls you. Uh -huh. And then they go, uh, so, um, you at the seller later? And it's like, just fucking hang up on that. That's, wrap it, that's <laughs> wrapping up the call. I'm 38. I know what wrapping up I want to talk to. I want. I Look at We. Our crew is just the worst. Oh, yeah, yeah. Pseudo you're, friends. You're I, do, I don't other. know Colin Quinn's number. <laughs> you know. uh, everybody, you know what it is about, about our little crew? Here's the sad thing. 
And 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 what makes it fucked up is you two are like in there somewhere. Somehow, yeah. We're all kind of on the sure, show, right? All kind of but we're all trying to get famous sneakily. Mm-hmm. We all we all trying to get famous behind everybody's back <laughs> and do things like that no one knows about. <laughs> <laughs> Except for Norton, Norton is is doing things up. But like me and Bob and uh, and I don't I don't we I haven't talked to Billy in a while. So but, uh-huh. but everybody's you know Keith. Everybody's like, hey, what you do yesterday? Uh, I had a little meeting. What? Well, what, what yeah, meeting? yeah. About, what, what, about what? what? Where? I had just a uh, just a thing. Just, just meeting with people. Everybody wants to come out of the blue, like oh, yeah, out of the wow. blue and just be on the show. That's Look what, what I, I that's got. What, yeah, and yeah. and that and we're just a bunch of desperate old men now grasping. <laughs> well, this is the, the type of friendships we have. I, my girlfriend uh, moved, and she was a little hurt because she would, wanted her girlfriends to come over and keep her company while she packed, and she couldn't understand why her friends wouldn't. And I'm like, you can socialize with different people. But if I called, and I used you as an example, because whenever I need, like, shit friend examples. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Said, You're good as a shit friend but, example. But, I, but, but we all are right. in our each each way. Each person oh, gee, is their so shitty me. friend person. I'm right? an awful friend. But I'm I a know. shitty friend very specifically. Well, I said, if I called Patrice and said, will you come over? Look, I got a pack. I'm a little bummed out. Will you please come over and just sit with me and talk to me while I do it? He would hang up on me. He wouldn't <laughs> respond. And neither would Colin. I'd call him a faggot. Like, what kind of faggot ass shit is that? And they can talk to me. Colin wouldn't. <laughs> Colin would, you know, shut your mouth. Oh, yeah, I, I tried up. to talk to Colin on the phone. Like, just calm, can't. Do, hey, Colin, what's up? Fucking, yeah, you see that Norton? He has a fucking head like a... Hey, what do you want to your fat fuck? All right, Colin. Hey, I'm just checking to see how you're okay. Don't be fucking trying to check on me. Uh, psychoanalyze him I'm deep down inside him. Shut the fuck up and just can you just say hello for five exactly. minutes we're the worst group uh, Keith that we're all just bad people don't understand Boss. me I don't I just because I don't call or I didn't get into conversation doesn't mean I don't care about the people like I I care greatly about Jimmy Norton I care greatly about Opie the, the call it's we make context. it's always it's like business or something. I rarely call Jimmy you know, Gavin, and go like, hey, Jim, what's well, up? Well, we spend five hours a day together, too. That's a bad example. That is we true. Yeah, yeah. We, we talk about it. Don't count. It doesn't count. But I got friends, too, that do, like, great things. They've done great things. Got us, like, housewarming gifts and things like that. And I just... I blow it off. You know, you know, Gavin? The, Gavin oh, yeah, 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 of course. He doesn't understand. I Explain tried- Gavin, though. Gav is, is my buddy from England, six foot six. Oh yeah. Gavin looks. He like gave us the famous audio of his friend, his friend getting fucked in the ass with the dildo. Yep, but by a, a chick. By a girl. A and and yeah. he's just fun. And, and there's nothing gay about him. Gavin is a is no. a pure Viking. Because like, all man. Not, if he was <laughs> yep. here with the meat things, he'd be like, "Oh, try that, mate." He'd dump it all in oh, his mouth yeah. and swallow it. It's just, he would just, laugh and smile as he was chewing. Oh, he's a, he's a great guy and a great he character. Could've, he could have been in Three Hundred. Guy he's that been. type of guy. He's Spot not fucking up. around. He's just like winches. Yeah, like yeah. Like he uses a bitch as an ottoman, <laughs> you know? So he, he doesn't understand about, like, he's a square guy, meaning he's a guy who, if he's your friend, there's rules. He doesn't understand that me and Bobby won't speak for six months. <laughs> yeah. And on the sixth month, we call and go, hey, what you doing, dude? Like, we won't go, what you been doing for six yeah, months? Oh, my God. I haven't six heard from you. Six months is like nothing. If if you don't speak to him for six months, Gavin will literally start crying. Like, <laughs> what do I do, mate? What, what's going on with you? So Gavin, sensitive. we just decide don't we don't talk to each other for months at a time. Yeah. That's part of our Period. relationship, right. And Opie's like that. that very much. Opie will be like, oh, man. Uh, Opie, man. Wait, what? What am I like? Opie, talk, you can talk to Opie. One thing that's consistent about Anthony, never talk to him. No. He's done. Don't don't even try to just hit that, that show. Am. Good laugh. Once goodbye. That, once that show is over, I don't talk to anybody. Ope will, from Monday to Tuesday and a half, he'll be like, hey, man, love you, dude. Wednesday to Thursday and a half. <sighs> well, that's because Bob Kelly came in. Wednesday to Thursday and a half. <laughs> but that's that's because Bob Kelly came in, and now i got to give him a little while. <laughs> and then I forget about you until the next time you come in. <laughs> you got to figure that shit out. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you got to figure out how to be everybody's friend. It, and that's the thing. That's the thing about this game. 
I had to learn how to be Norton's friend to mm-hmm. say he's my friend. I had to learn how to be Keith's friend, learn how to be Bobby's friend. Why don't you guys secretly start, someone's got a good idea, secretly start uh, you know, recording these phone calls. Just, then they usually end mm-hmm. with a hang-up. A lot of times they're not long. And it's not good because we trash each other behind each other's back all the time, too. <laughs> yeah, can't so do that. So it's not good. You just be like, ah, oh, that fucking Norton in this yeah. book. Like, what's, what's that what's missing that? tape? Yeah. <laughs> 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 shit. Fucking, what is he? What is he talking about? Chapter 3P? <laughs> fucking dick. But there's no... There's <laughs> and you love him, but it's that, it's that professional jealousy. Yeah. What the fuck is Norton talking about? You don't see anybody book. doing but better than no, you. There's nothing we say, Dean really. Dean cunts. Behind... <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing we say behind each other's back. Or there's, I, I would say, like, whenever we go Stephen on track. Queen. <laughs> you would say it right to their face. Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, Absolutely. I got to interrupt because Kevin Smith has been online for like 15 oh, minutes. Oh, wow. Shit. Listening to this battle. Kevin, what's going on, buddy? I mean, you guys can sit there and bullshit all you want, and, and it's entertaining to listen to. I can't believe nobody... Nobody like dropped everything they were doing. Took a moment of silence to to acknowledge Norton's Hal Holbrook Star Chamber joke. Thank you very yes. much. Nobody that has made a Star <laughs> Chamber joke since like maybe fucking Saturday Night Live circa 1983. That shit was brilliant. <laughs> Thank you. I'm always looking for a good uh, opportunity to squeeze Hal Holbrook's name. I love that dumb movie <laughs> that, too. That was so fucking obscure. I was dying for about five minutes. <laughs> they, they, should, they should remake that uh, movie. I think it would be great. I agree. But uh, uh, it, well, Kevin, um, boy, how things change uh, over time. Uh, one of your, I don't know, uh, foils in the business, nemesis, <laughs> your nemesis, who, who you took on. Uh, who I fine, might say, a gentleman you, of fine note has passed. Let's just leave. I it might that. say you uh, you bullied and brutalized this gentleman, gentleman uh, on our show. Fine note has passed. <laughs> we should just well, leave it at that. Yes, leave it at that. Well, uh, we. I was very surprised to hear that. Joel I Siegel felt bad, died. I felt yeah. Bad. I mean, believe me, I know I didn't add to it, but I mean, in retrospect, you know what? Apparently, he yeah. was going through some horrible shit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Who knew? You know, the guy kept it quiet. He kept it quiet, and that's uh, probably why he got up and left the that's theater. That's what you call yeah. having the ultimate last laugh. Yeah, yeah. He showed you. He's like, look, I went through that whole argument. All I had to blurt out was, I got cancer, you asshole. It totally. And you would have been like, you would have been like, oh shit, oh fuck. He kept what thought, colon like, cancer. I, back then, in yeah. the moment, I yeah. thought like, all right, I've got the ultimate ace card up my sleeve because the dude works for Disney, and Miramax used to be part of Disney, Harvey and Bob Weinstein used to be part of Disney, and and so ultimately, I could slap him with, you work for the company that fired my bosses, and that's why you're fucking coming down on the movie. He had the ultimate ace up his sleeve. <laughs> Dude, yes, at any he did. moment could have just dropped like uh, P.S. Fat ass, I am dying of cancer. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, yeah, he got you. Last laugh. You're actually Kevin. You're the first guy I thought of though when I read Joel Siegel died. It's weird. Like I, the first thing I well, thought of. Yeah, Kevin. Kevin was dragged into some of the articles. Yeah. Oh, that was that was painful too. Right then, a little bit. Hey, well, you were right though, dude. You you took a critic on. Critics are to me are, are completely irrelevant, uh, regardless of their health. And and, and you you uh you know I, I really, <laughs> but I mean they are. I, Jesus, I find Jimmy. what they do to be you, largely irrelevant. And I like the fact that you address the guy behave self righteously. But I do you mean, recall? Ultimately, at the end of the day, I certainly don't regret you know my position, which was like right. yeah, if you're gonna leave the theater, just don't. Say, I'm fine with him leaving the theater. Just don't say anything the fact Don't that you brutalized an old man yourself. who was sick <laughs> you brutalized an old man who was sick but you didn't know I didn't. you didn't know he was sick and you humiliated <laughs> him in front of his grandchildren you didn't know he was ill <laughs> oh my what? god Eber, I don't up. think Eber's doing well either no, no, there's something no. in that 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 butter, that fake butter or something. You think that's at the popcorn? They're watching butter? too many movies and they're dying of weird crap. Wait, Something's going is on. Is Ebert really sick? Like I saw photos of Ebert. Yeah, he had his jaw removed or something. Oh, I've man. sat in for Ebert on his show about three, four times now because yeah, yeah, he had, yeah. Uh, he had some sort of esophageal problems there. Was he a smoker? Uh, he I a don't smoker? think he was a smoker. Unless but he had way his... back in the day. He had his jaw removed, scraped, and then put him backwards. Some crazy procedure. Doesn't that scare so the crap out of you when he's somebody... Still, he's still somebody... right, and he just can't uh, get on the show, because I don't think he... I think he's in speech therapy right now, because I think well, he's... Well, and, and, and he would horrify uh, the children. You know, let's be honest. Oh, wow. Whenever you hear about cancer or something, the first thing you ask, and I always do it, is like, well, do they smoke? Yeah, yeah. It's like, I want to know that they somehow contributed, yeah, it was there, yeah. and I'm not contributing yeah. by not smoking. Right. Like those things, colon and, and pancreas. Yeah, what did they eat? Like, what did they do? I bet they had a bad diet or something. And it's like, no, the picture of health, exercised every day, 
And then you're like, oh, Jesus Christ, this could just come out of yeah, nowhere. One of those things, colon can you just go, and I just hope diabetes is enough. You're like, come on, God, you don't want to give me nothing else, do you? People are saying, look, see, i got to remember never to walk out of a Kevin Smith movie. Mm. See? People are actually... Uh, Equating that with his illness. You were great in Die Hard, man. I, I didn't, like, I was. So oh, yeah, these guys saw the Die Hard movie there, Kevin. I, I know. I, fucking, no I saw Anthony and Norton there. Yes. Where were you, I, sir? I accosted him on the red carpet. <laughs> I was so annoyed at the way, like, Fox didn't get us in there or anything, and I was prepared to hate it. And it really was good, man. It this was, is a totally good movie, isn't it? Yeah. The action's great, and you know something? It's, it's funny without trying to be, like, the fourth time around. Same kind of funny. They don't, yeah, they don't do a lot of reference jokes. Like, there's really no. only one reference joke where, like, there's an FBI agent who goes, I'm Agent Johnson, and Bruce goes, Agent Johnson, and that's it. Yeah, yeah. That was kind of a good uh, uh, callback. But the the kid was really funny, man. Yeah, Justin Long. I thought it was good. And that's How fucking... Have you ever watched a movie at Radio City Music Hall? No. no. Cool. That is, I like, that the best amazing. theater to see a movie in. Why? The sound right? was fantastic. Just the screen's huge. Yeah. Yeah, how did that look for you, sitting there watching your giant head on a screen like that? I mean, as fat as I felt, I felt even fatter when I saw myself <laughs> at Radio City Music Hall. I was like, good God, i got to stop eating. That was good. I saw, I saw you uh, take your seat as uh, me, my girlfriend, Jimmy, and his girlfriend were being kicked out of our seats and moved <laughs> further to the back of the theater. It was awful. We were just treated like the scourge. I love And then we're just looking. We, we found four seats together, and we had right. the tickets with the black reserved band around them, right. but we didn't know there were special, special tickets. We had special tickets, but they're special, special tickets. So we found four seats together, and we're like, cool, great seats, four together, me, Jimmy, my girlfriend, Jimmy's girlfriend, and then uh, this woman comes up and goes, oh, you can't sit here. So we, we didn't argue with her, but we wanted like kind of an explanation, and she gave one that the, these seats are numbered. And, her explanation and, uh, you was know. all animals are equal. Some animals are more equal than others. Exactly. Yes. More important people were coming in than us. So she goes, there are seats back there. So we look in the back, and like uh, we barely got to sit with our own chicks. Jimmy turned around at one point, like eight aisles in front of me, and just gave this disgusted look. Like we couldn't even we couldn't even have our seats. I would have preferred to sit in front of John Wilkes Booth. It was just <laughs> an awful situation, and uh, we just wanted to be treated nicely. Kevin was nice. He's like one of the only really famous guys that is nice to you, and he doesn't have to be. He, he's yeah. a nice guy. And, That's and, I'm not and famous, the, dude. Oh yes, uh, you are. Yeah, you're famous. No, dude, you're ridiculous. When you see you gotta stop Bruce downplaying. Show up like when six thousand yeah. people are screaming for Bruce Willis. That's fucking. You know, you're, I, I'll, I'll give you that. But I was also paying attention to whenever uh, the, when the movie started and the names that popped up on the screen right. and then the first time people appeared on the screen. And Kevin Smith got a huge ovation. You, you got a huge ovation from that crowd, man. It was uh, it was kind of nice. I'll admit that. Yes, you know, it, was. You know, it was. I think it just had to do with like everyone in the movie is introduced pretty fucking early, and I don't show up till like an hour into the picture. So yeah. I think it just caught people off guard. They're like, oh, that fucking fat fuck's in the movie, too. What <laughs> the hell's he doing at the door? <laughs> Did you see the publicist try to get us off the red carpet? Me and oh, Anthony, was that funny? We couldn't have looked more like we didn't belong. Oh, we were getting thrown off every two seconds. There's nothing better than walking the red carpet as you're being thrown off of it. <laughs> we were actually walking behind people who were doing legitimate interviews <laughs> instead of waiting for our turn. Oh, yeah, waving God. behind people. We're the worst. And I but we're stopped who scourge. I was talking to when you guys came up, and then I just kind of brought you into the interview and whatnot, but the yeah. whole time, the whole time, Norton had this look on his face like nobody knows, but I just killed a hooker five minutes ago. You know, like, <laughs> weird, weird guilt face on, just frozen yeah. like Cindy Dude, Brady. It was right before that woman had just come over a minute before we saw you, and she's like, "Well, do you guys have tickets?" Which is never what you want to hear on a red carpet. That's never how a celebrity is <laughs> yeah. treated. Do you have tickets, Mr. Willis? Yeah. And we, said, we said yes. And she goes, well, you might want to go around this way. And she pointed back down the red carpet like, guys, the real star move is to double back on the red carpet. <laughs> there are no photos were taken when you first walked. So you get to the pavement. And get online, shit dick. Oh, my God. <laughs> but I dropped your name. I'm like, now nah, we got to do a thing with Kevin Smith, which we didn't. We, we had to bother you. No. I got Something lucky. Went throw you off the red carpet. I had, I had a cop. I couldn't be bothered with that whole thing. I had a cop, and then uh, I got lucky because right in front of the uh, one of the people in charge, uh, two photographers started taking pictures of me and my girlfriend because uh, he recognized me from the radio show. 
So he right. started snapping pictures, and a couple of the people turned around and went, oh, okay, I guess he's somebody. Yes, right. They didn't know who. What's Patrice laughing at? I'm just laughing at you exactly why I'm not telling him to come to my party. <laughs> but that's Ope goes, I don't go to that horse Somebody shit. Well, the, no, I mean, in all fairness, I, I went to that horse shit a few times and was treated just like that. I'm like, I'll go see the movie on my own time. I ain't get, I'm not going to put myself in that position. I agree. Oh, yeah. where, the movie. where you're on the red carpet. I've been on the red carpet, and Jimmy described it perfectly. Also, you're like, oh, I'm How obviously you get not. On? To, I'm obviously not supposed to be here. People are like shattering on the sides and are coming up to you. It's like fuck but that. How do you get on? I'll the wait red a week carpet or two and I'll go see it in it. some dumb cop. theater somewhere. So anybody can get on the red carpet, and then they have to decide whether you belong there or not. Yeah, if you get, if you got the right cop. You could get on the red carpet. They got it's on because staying of a on the red carpet. Other people get on because they have a publicist That's and, the and you're on the list and all that. The crap. talent is remaining on the carpet. And, and we sign. If you sign a couple of things, somebody will see you signing and go, oh, "Okay, I can't fuck with this person because I'm just not sure who they are." Right. And I would have signed anything. I mean, so it's just checks. it's just arbitrary. <laughs> I don't think these guys belong. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Because the big stars, everyone knows who the big stars are. You want to Kevin? And stay on a red carpet would yeah. be to have a plant standing near, like, the red carpet that the moment you hit it, they try to get an autograph from you or ask for a picture. Anybody can make it into a, to a premiere yeah. screening. If you have that a plant works. right on the red carpet going, oh, can I get your autograph? Can I get your picture and shit like that? Because then the people who are guarding the screening are like, maybe they're they somebody. See it. I don't recognize them. That's why I started signing because a couple of fans from K-Rock were there. And uh, they had those those uh, uh, fan things that they were uh, handing out. And right. I signed the back of a few. And again, people saw that and went, all right, he's got to be somebody. I don't know who the fuck it is. But. What, what was the th red carpet? Carpet event we went to at uh, was it the WWE restaurant before it went back to Hard Rock, and I swear to God, nothing's more uncomfortable than when you see celebrities walking and then all the paparazzi and photographers go up and ch -ch -ch -ch, they're they're flash bulbs everywhere, everywhere, even though they're not flash bulbs anymore. I did let them and then, with uh, like fucking and then, Lindsay Lohan. Or yeah, yeah, shit. and then we walked through, or I did. Maybe this was when I was by myself. Oh, I don't know. No. And the same people that were just going ah. nuts, flashing like crazy, not. There was one guy being polite going, click. And I'm like, you know what? I don't need to put myself through this shit. But no I'll go, I'll go. And I'll look this way. Could you look that way? Well, look this way. Look and it wasn't. Way. Yeah. But I was asked to go to this thing. I forgot what it was. It wasn't like I was trying to like hang with the celebrities and stuff. I was asked. And then I'm like, what, why did I put myself in this position? One guy lifted up his camera for one shot. And I'm like, holy shit. I did, I did I, Letterman with like fucking uh, Tom Cruise's wife or something. One of them people. And... I got. I came up in one of those dark limos or something. I got out and they were flashing. When I got out, they all went, uh. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, because their reaction, as soon as they see the limo, oh. just start taking pictures. Yeah, and, and then um, somewhere in their brain, they realize, wait a minute, I'm taking uh, a lot of pictures of a nobody right now. Fuck in their this? world, anyway. <laughs> they said a limo I, got, I have a little of that coming my way this week. I got a. Uh, Affleck said, hey, man, do you want to go join us? There's a poker tournament <clears throat> in Vegas. That Don Cheadle's throwing for some, it's a Darfur benefit or something like that. He's uh -huh. like, join up, it'll be fun. I was like, right on. So I join up, then I saw the fucking list of people who are going, and it's like, uh -oh. Brad Pitt, fucking George Clooney, Adam Sandler. I'm like, oh, I don't want to be in that room. <laughs> Why? Why? Because there's a bunch he... of people just going like, who the fuck are you? There's Adam Sandler. <laughs> fuck off. You're like, I, uh. he, then, then Kevin kind see, of feels see, what we get to see, feel. See, it never but... ends. Because in Kevin Smith's circle, they would look at us like, who the fuck are those guys? <laughs> no, but he made Ben uh, yeah. Affleck famous. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin really helped Ben Affleck a lot. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, Ben kind of owes you a lot. Nah, but not. I mean, I mean that's such old news at this point. It's just no, 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 no. If it wasn't for you, there's no I daredevil like, move. I want to help out the cause, but I don't want to fucking sit there and feel uncomfortable the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Is it inappropriate, Kevin? Could you get Don Cheadle on our show? <laughs> I love Don Cheadle, man. <laughs> that guy's great. fantastic. Yeah, he's a good actor. I met. That's the yeah. other weird thing. Like I met with Don Cheadle back in '97 about being in Dogma, and he was a great guy and a great actor. But then you know Chris Rock popped up, and I was like, oh, I love uh -huh. Chris Rock. I wonder if the dude will even remember. Because Don Cheadle's gone on and done some pretty big things, but, like, sure, I remember dude. everything. I remember every every time I met with somebody who later on, like, didn't fucking um, want to know from me or whatever. I, I, I yeah. just wonder if I get there and the dude's like, hey, I remember our meeting. Thanks for not casting me in that fucking picture. <laughs> And you think she'll probably won't remember you? I doubt it. I, I, oh, I'm will. sure if I meet, it'll be like, hey, nice to meet you. And I'll be the only one remembering our meeting. 
Mm. He'll remember you and he'll snub you horribly in front of people. Believe me, he'll pay you back. He'll snub you horribly. You think Chris Rock's more talented than me? Fuck you. Take table six. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, Chris Rock's a great comic, but as far as actors are concerned, that was an odd move. Chris Rock as an actor over Cheadle. Yeah, yeah. Com well, I mean, well, I stand Comedy. by my decision. Chris Rock, funny in that movie. <laughs> Fucking very funny. Pander asshole. Let's say it. I, I like Chris Rock casting. as a comedian. No, no, no. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Say what you really feel. Don Cheadle's a better actor. I mean, that's not a. That's not a big. I think Chris Rock would admit that. I think it would have been a little too uh, serious. You now, if I would have said Chris Rock's a better actor than Don Cheadle, that would have been pander. Let me ask you a question. I'm, sure. I'm, I'm only halfway in this business. Let's say, it could, could Chris Rock possibly? Possibly think he's as good an actor as Don Cheadle. No, like no. even in I a, don't think even so. in a in a in a fictitious crazy Hollywood way, could he go? Like, would he laugh at what you just like? Would he go? Of course, Don Cheadle's better than me. Or would he go? Why? What's I don't there, understand. There are the, things. What are you trying to say? There are things you would cast uh, Chris Rock in that you wouldn't cast Don Cheadle in. But I don't think Chris Rock. But is the Hollywood ego? You think Chris Rock's like I will read for things Don Cheadle and I should get it. Oscar you know, I think, uh, I think winning Chris movies Rock would be the and first stuff. one to tell you that he's not the actor that Don Cheadle is. I think Chris Rock would copy yeah. that in a second. Yeah, it's a, it's a mute uh, point, really. You ever see the uh, you know Oscar win? You ever see the Oscar winning movies that Don Cheadle been in? <laughs> <laughs> hey, he was very good in Hotel Rwanda. Oh, Hotel I mean, Rwanda was, was great. great comedy. Yeah. If you haven't seen that, he was <laughs> great. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, by the way, they are remaking the Star Chamber. It's coming out in 2009. Is it a Hal Holbrook? Who's I want doing to Who's doing it? I don't know. Well, I, I just assumed this was true because somebody wrote in on the instant feedback. <laughs> maybe we should look you it up to, ourselves. Yeah, maybe you ought to look it up. <laughs> One of my favorite Hal Holbrook uh, movies was uh, Creep Show. It's it. Just tell it to call you, Billy. Totally, and that monster totally. was in the box. Yeah. Oh, and was, she's just like, what the hell the, would you do without me? Hell. Yeah, he was fantasizing about shooting her in the head. Sexy, <laughs> sexy ass Adrian Barbeau. Adrian Barbeau. That was her. Yeah. She's John Carpenter's wife. I wonder if he's still married to her. John Carpenter married? Yes. Are you sure? No, but I think so. <laughs> yeah, she, I think I think he was. She was with John Carpenter for a long time. Yeah, he directed. Uh, he directed the Swamp Thing. He directed ah, Swamp yeah. He directed she her. Movie. She was in The Fog. He, the she fog. was in a couple of his movies. She was in Escape from New York. She played that big titted monster running around with brain. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> stupid Harry Dean Stanton. <laughs> Donald Pleasance with his lack of finger. <laughs> we get it. <laughs> fucking Snake Plissken, he dressed like Steve, our producer. <laughs> his fucking shitty shirt. <laughs> <laughs> fucking homoerotic shirt. <laughs> I heard Snake you were dead. That could have been the best, worst movie ever oh, made. I know. Isaac Hayes and his awful blimp. <laughs> 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 you are the Duke of New York. You are kind of a homoerotic producer. <laughs> <laughs> With chandeliers as the fucking... Oh, the worst. As the lights on, on the car. The car. <laughs> <laughs> could you lift me up? I have this thing in my neck. <laughs> Uh, escape from New York. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Fucking classic, man. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Oh, man. Lee Van Cleef and his stupid earring. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking awful Ernest Borgnine role. Lee Van, Van Cleef. <laughs> Lee Van Cleef was fantastic. Sure he was, but that dumb earring, he looked like fucking a white Ed Bradley. <laughs> 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 stupid. <laughs> Just name the whole movie. Yeah, it's fucking. It's Escape from New York in thirty seconds. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Snake Plissken. I heard you were dead. Oh. That's a shitty movie. <laughs> and you just watch it over and over and over. Again. And the worst part was the '80s fucking awful villain. He dressed like a music video Billy Idol. The guy who like, <laughs> who brought the president's finger. Like, <laughs> fuck him and what Stephen a Hubley. Shitty <laughs> fucking movie. Stephen Hubley was in it. Too. You played a hooker. <laughs> Damn, Jimmy. He knows season, everything about that season movie. Season Hubley always played a hooker. She should have. She's Season Hubley. <laughs> <laughs> and Wings Hauser. <laughs> yeah. Wings Hauser. Yeah. Wings Hauser. Where the fuck is Coco Bish? You're the Vice Squad? Vice <laughs> Squad. Norton has no life just like me. <laughs> Why are you Season Hubley? The fucking best. Nina Blackwood from MTV was in Vice Squad. She played yeah. a fucking hooker that Wings Hauser beat to death. <laughs> 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 Jesus, Jesus Patrice. <laughs> she stole money. Wingshauser was the greatest pimp other than Morgan Freeman. Wingshauser was like a poor man's uh uh, he Rutger Hauer. Yes. He shouldn't have been. He should have been an actual man's Wingshauser, <laughs> along with, <laughs> along with the most underrated actor in the history. My favorite actor of all time, who's never been famous, 
is the, is the motherfucker that played uh, the the guard in in Shawshank Redemption. Oh, oh play, god Vikings. damn that guy! Viking and Bad Boys. Yeah, he was in Bad Boys. Yeah, with Sean Penn. What's that guy's name? That was Tweety, you assholes. That from Bad Boys. Yeah, is yeah. tremendous. Oh, that's he's, the guy that does the voice famous. of Lex Luthor on the Superman cartoon. Clancy yes. Brown, is that his name? Clancy Brown. Wow. Clancy Brown. Very good. Uh, Kevin Smith's in front of a computer right now. He shows well, up that, in that, something, that, that uh, Jimmy. Call, but I was looking at the new <laughs> Star Chamber that. on IMDb, and yeah. they just have it, they just have a title, 2009, <laughs> but nobody attached to it yet. Well, there's uh, uh, yeah. a fucking great, a great scene. One of my favorite scenes in Vice Squad, which I'm dying. It's so quotable. Vice Squad. There's a great scene where where <laughs> you Nina Blackwood. Vice Squad? Oh yeah. She ripped off Ramrod, oh, yeah. the pimp played by Wing Powell. Ramrod. And he's at a hotel. He's at a hotel and he's going, "Open the door, Ginger." I think her name was Ginger. And he Ginger, goes, Ginger I just, was the one he beat with the hanger. But but he he's trying to get it. She's like, "You ain't gonna hit me, Ramrod." And he's like, "Baby, I just want to love you." And he's rubbing his knuckles on the door like he can't wait to get his hands on this thieving punk of a hooker. He can't wait. Wait, what did you see? He hit Season Hubley in the chair with a stool. When the cops came in, he said, "You snitched on me, bitch." And he hit him in the head with a stool twice. He opened. The, he opened. <laughs> well, she, here's why yes. Season Hubley was only trying to hurt Ramrod because he beat Nina Blackwood to he death. He beat Ginger to death. But he <laughs> talked Ginger into opening the door. And she goes, you ain't gonna hit me, Ramrod. And he goes, I just want to love you. And she opens the door and he breaks it and he grabs her hair and he goes, I cannot believe how stupid <laughs> you are. And it's the greatest realization that you fucked up. <laughs> and boy, did you he... ever see my squad open? No, I have not. Dude, that's it's I've... a fucking That's great why I haven't talked in the last 15 minutes. I have it on video. I have I'm, it on video. It's a it great in. film. I'm going to search it out now. Yeah. We'll great have to quote. have a viewing. What I did to Ginger ain't going to be nothing compared to what I do to you. <laughs> or how about the fucking, uh, 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 the fucking, the black guy, Roscoe, when he's handcuffed, he goes, come on, Roscoe, move your black ass. He holds, <laughs> he holds a fucking hacksaw to Ramrod's neck. And he goes, don't. You white motherfucker. Yeah, don't I'll, you out, out. Cut your goes, Don't talk that trappy shit to me, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, because you know what? The whole movie, Wings Hauser had been pretending to be nice, and then he would do something fucked up to you right after. So he would go, hey, can I get a dollar? You give him a dollar, and he'd stab you. So the black dude who was the only motherfucker to go, nigga, I know you, motherfucker. I'll cut your motherfucking head well, off. He wanted to buy a car from this fucking guy, Roscoe, <laughs> and he only had 500 bucks, and Roscoe goes, 500 don't get you no El Dorado. <laughs> It was the most quotable film ever. Obviously, Jimmy. Rerun, Fred Berry is in. He plays a sugar pimp. Oh, he plays sugar pimp. Named Dorsey. Sugar pimp Dorsey. And he, oh. and he kicks him in the balls. No, he grabs him by his wings, grabs him by his balls. And, and, and Rerun goes... Oh, I'm sorry, Ray Rock. It was a big faggot sugar. No, he hold, he fucking he goes. Here's what happened. He's fucking looking for this girl, and he puts fucking silk robe wearing Fred Berry against the wall, and he goes, you know what the problem with you sugar pimps is? And he takes out a switchblade. And he goes, you ain't got no balls, boy. And he jams him in, with the switchblade, and rerun goes. <laughs> what is wrong with you? You gotta guys? see Vice Squad, dude. I, I'm gonna look it up. I Trust cannot not believe. That's why no season There's a new DVD made. out of it. A, it came out like three months ago. Is that oh. on DVD finally? Yeah, yeah, it just came out about three months ago. All right, I'm picking it up dude, today. I gotta see Vice Squad. The guy it's that plays great. the fuck, he's like a Paul Newman wannabe, the guy who plays like the, the fucking head Vice Squad. Oh, the, uh... Oh, what's his name? I made it a point to know everybody's name in that stupid movie. Uh, but he he hasn't done anything since. He, I mean, no. everybody does Law and Order. That's one thing. Oh, it's on everyone's IMDb. I, uh, IMDb. IMDb. If you ain't seen a motherfucker in years, he did a Law and no, Order yeah. episode. That's on DVD, Kevin. See, that's what I was dying for, to get quotes for the show. Uh, there's so many, uh, like there's one scene where uh, Ramrod is looking for the hooker, so he pulls up to this uh, Asian hooker, and he goes, uh, hey, uh, have you seen uh, have you seen uh, Coco? And she goes, you a cop, baby? He goes, do I look like some kind of fucking pig? <laughs> <laughs> but then he grabbed her, yeah. he grabbed her by her head and drove off with a feet hanging yeah. out the window. Kicking out the door. <laughs> and, he beat, and he beat him up half to death. And he threw in a garbage pile. <laughs> and he, he threw in the garbage and then ran over. A black hooker just to get season holy, just to kill him, right. just to kill season holy. Ramrod was hot under oh, the collar, dude. If you see, he was one of the greatest pimps in the movie. He hit, he hit her in the head twice 
with a stool and then threw the stool at the cops. He said, you snitch on me, bitch, clunk, clunk, and then threw the stool at the cops. And then they they wrestled him down. And he said, I'm going to fucking kill you, bitch. So the whole movie was him being looked for for murder. But he was driving around the city in this in this El Dorado that the black dude sold him to kill season Hubley the hooker. One of the best lines ever. There's a cheesy cop team of a white guy Holy and a black shit. female. They know the whole thing. It's scary. It's such a cheesy Inside line. Out. I love it. The black girl, the black cop, when she pulls the, the gun and she goes, Blink your eyes, motherfucker, and you die in the dark. I would love to say that to somebody. You know who that lady was? No. She played the vice principal in Lean On Me. The one that said, hey, the guy goes, wow. That's, I'm the HNIC. And then he, she, he, the white guy goes, what's that mean? Head nigga in charge. <laughs> That's who that yes. cop was. She probably got She probably got everything Roxy Roker went out for and didn't get. <laughs> <laughs> Till the <it> Jefferson. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. I thought I was the only asshole who watched Vice Squad 12 million times. <laughs> How many times have you seen it, Jimmy? I don't know. But I have it on video. I just saw it the other night. Like, I was sitting there. I was like, I got to get that on DVD. God and damn. Kind of I watch it every time it comes on. I won't watch it on regular television because you can't. Nah, watch. Wings can't is, appreciate Other than like Morgan that. Freeman and Street Smart, Wings House is the best movie pimp ever. Oh, I got to get the uh, DVD now. <coughs> but I know it's you not You don't love great. that fucking movie, dude. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, well, there you go. Hey, we'd like to thank, like squad. to thank Kevin Smith for. Uh, <laughs> I've just been on hold, uh, not hold, just sitting there for twenty-five minutes. Listening Sorry. to a. I, have, I live, man. I can sit back and appreciate two people appreciating an obscure picture, man. <laughs> a fucking great L movie. Fantastic. <laughs> All right, man. Well, uh, yeah, we we were just thinking about you. Uh, uh, well, like we should think about you and, and feel sorry, you know. Well, think <laughs> about know. you, man. Is there, if there's anything you need. <laughs> well, no one knew the guy was sick is what it comes yeah. down to, man. He didn't sound right, but. I would say that uh, maybe a, a, a visit to um, to St. Patrick's Cathedral would be in order, but not the program. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think we're still, we still got a few On years before list? we're able to go in there. There was somebody on the carpet that brought that up, too. They were like, hey, you going to St. Pat's? So you are like, right, all, yeah, yeah, thanks. <laughs> you should have seen, when me and Ant are walking into the actual theater, there's a little paparazzi stop, yeah. and the two low self-esteem idiots we are just standing there, and I actually had to say to the photographers, please take our pictures. Please. <laughs> <laughs> and they yeah. did. They showed mercy. They showed mercy. Did they print it anywhere? We were no. in front of the big, we were in front of the big Die Hard poster. <laughs> And uh, they they just like you hear, like okay, thank you. They just held up. They didn't even waste the fucking digital space. They just held up cameras and made the noise with their mouths. Go <laughs> oh, stupid. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up on Wire Image and see if they put up any pictures. Of you guys? They wouldn't have at all. I doubt. Oh, I don't know. What there were a lot of people there, man. Not I a lot of so. people I mean, in terms of like star power. Maybe it might, you guys might have made it on. Maybe we got lucky. Well, we're looking up wire image right now. Bruce Once Willis was there. I shot apparently with Demi Moore and Ashton Kutcher and, and their lovely children. And, um, you know, that's kind of weird that they all hang out together. <laughs> that whole arrangement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, well, they got uh, nice. Dennis Leary with Opie and Anthony. We got... Uh, you guys at my book signing. Yeah. We're, we're, oh, no, I'm sorry. My, uh, it's my, mostly pictures media. of us when we're getting in trouble. There's uh, me in front of some FHM right. uh, banner. I don't. Rem I don't remember that. Yeah, there's no. Uh, there's no real. Uh, there's no real images here. Yeah. Oh, that's us with uh, white stripes, or actually a raconteur. Uh, what else? Let's move down. Move down. The other way. Iraq, the other way, please. Iraq, move down quickly before I slap you in the face. The other way. <laughs> yeah, to the top. I didn't see. Oh, oh, and a then, picture uh, of you, man, without a beard and shit. <clears throat> of who, Anthony? <laughs> uh, no, no, Opie. Oh. Oh. I don't always, uh, I don't know. What's the date on this picture? Lot. August 3rd, 2004. Where's that? Wow. Where it's is that? I'm wondering if you uh, hit Opie and Anthony. There's, you know, there's like two pages of pictures. Oh, I gotta... so you guys look like you're in some kind of high tech Oh, studio. no, that... That, that was when we went down XM and signed our contract, and then they wanted publicity photos. Uh, look at my my oh, that's neck. An awful one, right? This is a picture we talk about all the time. There was a guy that decided to Photoshop our faces. 
and um, he made my neck extra long because he took a he took a head from another picture and put it on that one because he liked Anthony's look. And I said, please don't do that. He goes, no, don't worry, it will look great. And if you click on the picture, then there's like two, there's like five pictures for that same um, yeah, yeah, that yeah. Same shoot. Now look at the third my one look, in, and look how Ronald small Reagan my look at how small my on. neck is in the third picture. The first one, and I have giraffe neck, and did then you, look at the last two in the in bed the, mate. In the first yeah. picture, you look like the alien from Close Encounters, dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It's ridiculous, and I told this guy, please do not Photoshop our, you know, our. And the face. makeup was girl it? was Where ridiculous. This looks like you guys are on the set of THX one one three eight. <laughs> yeah, this was supposed to be, you know, the first picture that they were going to send to everybody out there after being off radio for two and a half years, and that's what they that every newspaper in America ran that fucking picture, and I begged the guy, please don't do that. And usually we don't care about uh, you know how our picture's taken, but this was so god awful, we finally had to put our foot down and go, look, dude, redo it, find something else. Look at the bad makeup job on the last two. It's a Ronald Reagan makeup. Just yeah, pancake. So whatever. Love it. All right. Hey, you want to? Um, you that's a good idea. Then uh, has a good idea. We we made a video there, uh, Kevin. Of Are what? you on your computer? All right, go to break dot com. Oh, no, break dot com. Yeah, and uh, I also want my acting showcase. I admire Kevin's pictures very much. Yeah, uh, Tom Hagen, and I would like to. This is the last. One. This is the last thing we do with Kevin today because I'm sure he's a I'm busy there. man. What's up? All right, uh, put in "Big Boy Makes a Duty" in the search engine. This is our latest creation. Big boy. Makes a duty, D O. Hey, E Rock, are you with me or what? Yeah. Go to break. D O O D Y. Yes. Common misspelling of duty is with I E. Gary I Swanson. It. All right. Uh, we're trying to get this on the front page, but why don't we get a review from uh, Kevin Smith? Why don't you play this? It's about a, a minute. Yeah. Crank up Load the volume, it. too. Loading up now. Here we go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Someone say, Big Boy made a duty? <laughs> I can't believe we're showing Kevin Smith this. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> With shit on his hand. <laughs> <laughs> my god who is that <laughs> what do you think that's our intern jared and that's the real deal by the way that's we're not going for one of those fake videos no that looked like the real deal yeah, yeah yeah that was one of jimmy's creations in the toilet it I, sat there for a good hour and a half i was reading the, i was reading the that. paper i got very sad at world events and that's how my body reacts yeah. just forces everything <laughs> well out let's get into this a for a couple of on that diet sir yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now, Kevin, uh, let's get into this a little bit. Uh, your review, the acting, the cinematography. Mm -hmm. the uh, costumes, acting is a little over the, the top. Um, yeah. But the, uh, the, the, I mean, in terms of uh, impact, yeah. mm -hmm. it certainly <laughs> makes an impression. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, 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 wait. I thought my acting, I thought I was very believable. <laughs> well, that little dance move you did. Yeah. How you are no you Alan Alda, sir. I'm going to say that. Oh, 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 oh you broke his heart. Alan Alda. <laughs> How would Alan Alda? Oh, he would have went, yes, the big boy made a duty. And he would have gestured <laughs> big with <Yes>. his hand. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, did that, tell me that dude got paid to pick up a load of shit. Uh, $300. $300. $300 gets you an intern. Five twenties. Oh yeah, my God, that's that's. I, I'm I don't get easily nauseous, but that fucking that that hit me like a gut punch. I know I hated giving that money. <laughs> We've had some gross uh, shows the last few days, but uh, yeah. that's our latest creation. Big boy makes a duty. I don't Break. think. I, I mean, I'm trying to think if I've ever touched an, another person's shit. I mean, maybe yeah, like no. when my kid was an infant and I had to wipe her ass, but like. I, I don't, what is that sensation? What goes through your mind when you're touching somebody else's waist? Depends on how much you've spent to do it. Like, if, if you feel really bad about yourself if you've specifically told the dominatrix no laxative, and if she squats over you, a fucking, a, a, like a little, a, one of those things that they put up, a suppository, shoots out of her ass and bounces off of your chest, followed by a, pot, a stew shoe fly pie. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I believe me. Hey, Kevin, did you understand that Jared was trying to put a, a, a little duty hat on the duty? 
No, not at all. Yeah, he yeah, was wearing, see, he, I he know it. that part of our our. Suck. He was wearing our the creation. big duty hat, and then we had a little duty hat that was supposed to go on the duty. And we had a lot of practice. Uh, oh, takes. we 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 went through so about that's why ten he takes. It up because he's putting a little hat on it. Yeah, yeah, the little duty hat on it. I didn't see it. that. I thought, nah. I, I thought the impression was just like, um, watch it, watch this dude do this fucked up thing. I didn't know there was an actual intent behind it except to pick up the poo. See a whole storyline. No, see, because or... just picking up the poo is like, that's college, uh, that's college video stuff. We excellent wanted to have a little story. We wanted yeah. character development. Excellent choice of music. We wanted character development. <laughs> you know. It was a real, uh, you know, I, it was basically like a... One of the little rascals episodes that Hal Roach didn't write. <laughs> <laughs> the dark years. So, yeah. So out of five stars, what do you give it? Five mm. stars, I go three. Wow. Or or we should go with logs at this. So three logs. Three I'm very logs. hurt. To... I think the director's cut uh, yeah. will be will be a lot better. Jimmy so can't get over the fact the that he didn't like the overacting. For the I'm sh- hurt. I think that's what that's what kind of drags it back a little bit. But yeah. the sheer fucking chutzpah it takes to to dig your hand into a toilet and touch another man's fucking logs, boy, that that deserves <laughs> three alone. But I'm hurt. I'm hurt. Sure. My acting was. Crazy. How long did it fucking? How long did it take for him to wash that smell off? He washed for oh, the rest for, of the show. Yeah, for hours. Yeah. Oh, and he kept it. Stays, dude. If you're wiping yeah. your ass and the toilet paper breaks and you get some shit oh. on your finger. It, that, I mean, you wash a lot, and it fucking there's always a faint, detectable fucking scent. <laughs> it's a whole day of you know holding something up to your mouth as you eat something and going, oh fuck, Ugh. still got shit there. I'm trying to eat a sandwich. All right, well, well, it, Kevin, thank you uh, very much. But Jimmy's still depressed. What's wrong, Jimmy? I, I, Why, I admire for the Kevin's the overacting thing. I, I admire Kevin's pictures very much, and I, I felt that maybe he and I would someday work together. I'm not necessarily a starring role. But some type of an action role, maybe where I run in and I'm like, get out of here, everybody, quick! It's gonna blow. Oh, sir, you were you were much more <laughs> subtle in uh, in Lucky Louie. This was a, you know you were going for over yeah. the top on this one. I was saying. Yeah, but didn't you yeah. like the kind of the arm thing? Yeah, I felt I like that I liked the little of... Popeye move. It, it was a was... Popeye move. That was it. My motivation was how, up to you. how would a big boy feel if <laughs> he just made he it did. to me? <laughs> can, you, uh, can you use your influence in Hollywood to maybe help us out? We want to get this video out there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what he wants to get behind. Well, yeah, you, yeah, I'm going to hitch my wagon to that store. I'm, I'm having a hard enough fucking time. scat <laughs> movies. And, and Kevin, <laughs> we've shown you the Baby Bird video, right? Mm-mm. Oh, God. All right, one more. Go uh, do Baby Bird in Break.com. This one now, we want your review on this one. We're proud of this one. And by the way, this is the hit. No special effects, no CGI. Right, this is real. All right, you got it? Hold on, I'm pulling it up now. Mm-hmm. Baby bird. Yeah, you see a big fat guy bird? that's bald. Baby bird. Classic O and A, the baby bird video. There you go. Oh, yeah. Hit it. Well, I know. It only got Pat. Pat from Munachi. Right yeah, there, you go. Pat. Pat he is probably on, freaking on the out the website, right now. and I've seen him a few times too. Down yeah. There. Oh, yeah. wait till you see his performance. Yeah, watch this. He's good. Are and this this guy's an intern. Uh, yeah, he wanted to uh, be an intern on our show, so we made him do something. We have an eggnog drinking contest. Is, here we go. Right. After an eggnog drinking right, contest. All right, he's got the audio. Unload his vomit into his mouth. Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> no. I'll just wait. Kevin. Hold on to your stomach. <laughs> like Dan said, no CGI. This when, is the real deal. When you think it's over, it ain't. By the way, what we want this link. drinking? Uh, eggnog. It was our eggnog drinking contest. 72 double shots, something like that, before he had to let go. 75. Oh, my God, dude. We got him back. We got him back. <laughs> we got him back. <laughs> Just <doesn't> stop. <laughs> Look how calm he is while he's puking. <laughs> oh, God, it doesn't stop.
Fantastic. There you go. It's like it's like a fire hose. How does the dude who got puked on not throw up and turn? Yeah, exactly. He's a little twisted. Yeah, he's kind of fucked up. We've been that. playing that at our comedy shows in front of like, uh, well, Mohegan Sun is about six to 7,000 people. The reaction you get in the room when that's on the big screen is unbelievable. Oh, that sound of, of 7,000 well, people going. About is a sound oh. of, just how calm he is while he's vomiting. Like yeah. He's, yeah. It, it, like it's second nature. And the yeah. sheer volume of it. <clears throat> Unfortunately, what makes um, you laugh too is at one point the dude he's puking on kind yeah. of like, um, Spits it back a little bit, like kind of blows yeah. his nose out or exhales, <laughs> yeah. and yeah. Pat jumps back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I don't want to get hit by the vomit. <laughs> yeah, he, he jumps back. He doesn't want any splash back. <laughs> All right, so that's the better video. Obviously. Yeah, we, we we love that one. That's uh, and uh, that's if you go to biggie. Kevin Smith's uh, MySpace page, you will see that video, right, Kevin? Yeah, I'll put that up. <laughs> Would you this. really? You guys got open. You guys had Quentin on. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Was, that, that was a great day. We did like How an hour was with him. He was unbelievable, and uh, we bought into his movie. We, I still buy into it. I thought we talked about this last time. We loved the movie. Which and, uh, one, Grindhouse? Yeah, I liked Excellent it a lot because it was different. And um, Excellent I don't movie. know, no, no one went and saw it, but uh, he was a great guest on our show. Oh, we're looking at pictures of Adrian Barbeau's tits from uh, the Swamp Thing. <laughs> They're fucking wonderful. We are all oh, over the God, place. That, that, it almost looked like that dude had a fake tube hidden behind his head. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people think it's fake. Yeah, and they go on break. So wait, wait, wait. So like the dude, he basically ingested seventy-five cups of eggnog, double shots. Yeah, somewhere yeah. around there. We do it every year. <laughs> you you drink a double shot. Point where he just got sick. How long did that well, take? Well, what happened was this is the deal. It's a double shot of eggnog every minute until you puke. We start this year. We start with like twelve guys. Pat beat everybody. By far, and then continued to drink the eggnog until he was about to puke. Joe Rogan came up with that idea yep. on the spot, and we went with it. So he kept drinking, and we had uh, Pat in place for when he had to finally puke. You have a resourceful puke. team, because if Joe Rogan came up with that on the spot, there's enough tarp all over that floor that you've got. Oh, we knew. Like, yeah, we knew that people were going to puke. Oh, no, that was because we people were puking all morning long. They were doing the eggnog drinking contest. See, Pat is a professional. He's doing the uh, Nathan's hot dog eating contest on uh, tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow. Yeah, at uh, Coney Island. He's um, he actually but, but one of the finalists. The hot dogs he's going to keep down. Yeah, yeah. I've never seen him puke those up. No, nah, he does all right. So, was all right, Kevin. Well, that's... Yeah, that's, that's, that, that, I'm glad we were able to show you our works. Yeah. <laughs> that's uh, I, I appreciate you sharing that. Watching that dude vomit, but it just put a smile on my face. <laughs> yeah, that is funny, man. We'll save the no filter Paul diaper shitting video for next time, okay? What is it called? I'll go look at it. <laughs> yeah, the diaper shit. I don't know what it's called on uh, line, but uh, we we what did we give him? We gave him some kind of thing that it's like a mega laxative that works really quickly, and put him in diapers and told him uh, he what was the the bet? We had him walk from this studio to the other studio in just a diaper, and then he stood on like newspaper until he finally couldn't hold. And it then anymore. he just shit himself in a game, pouring out the sides of the diaper. <laughs> it's so I don't know why that stuff is so funny, but now we're making it sound like that's uh, all we do but uh, ah, from time to time you gotta get get a little freaky it's just too funny sometimes man. you gotta take it right back to grade school that's uh, it if you if you type in no filter Paul craps his pants on break.com <laughs> we expect to see some of these videos on your uh, website there Kevin no your filter MySpace. Paul <laughs> yeah no craps filter his Paul pants. craps his pants it's just a bunch of scat and puke today we really are childish Jesus, idiots we stink <laughs> Come on. And there he is with his, uh, his Lego head. Lego hair. Lego head oh, this hair. Is a, this is a four-minute one. All right, I'll go watch this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. Great day. Have fun. Take care, buddy. Thanks a lot, If Kevin. you have a comment about... Go see Die Hard. Yep, yeah, absolutely, Hard people. Kevin's great. It's actually a much better movie than I thought. I really enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah, right? It's, it's, oh, my God. It's a movie. That, that's a movie, movie that really, it's not just like it succeeds based on diminished expectations, because you got a lot of people <laughs> going, I didn't think that'd be good, but it was great. It's just a really great action movie. Yeah, yep. I enjoyed it, and uh, the action was great, the fucking CGI was good, it was just really well done. Yeah. All right, guys. All right. Oh, my God. Bye, buddy. I'm watching Bye. the video. Kevin
Kevin, it's always Later, a pleasure. Kevin. Thanks, man. Kevin Smith, there you are. <laughs> I think we lost him at the end. I think he was like, all right, guys, enough. I got a, like enough, I got a reputation. There's enough of your shit and puke I videos. I can play with you guys to a point, but um, then I, I even have to punch out. I have a, a relationship with people in Hollywood. He's right. a genuinely respected filmmaker. Yeah. And we're trying to get him to post people shitting their <laughs> pants videos. Hey, we got a guy holding the feces of another, another man. You want to put that on your MySpace? And putting a little hat yeah. on it. Yeah. Could you please put that up on your MySpace? All right, let's say hi to uh, Greg in Cleveland. Greg, what's up? Hello. Hey, Greg, what do hey, you got? Hey, Greg. Hey, Chris, my bad. Your phone screen. Ah, uh, Chris. Hey, Chris. Wow. Uh, adolescent um, voice cranky uh, rock scream. Oh, uh, okay. Meow. So, Neil in studio, playing stand up New York all weekend long. Be there tonight or just Friday, Saturday? Friday, Saturday. Friday, Saturday. Friday, Saturday. You know what? I keep thinking Monday. it's the weekend. I'm sorry. Yeah, it feels everyone like the weekend, does. Doesn't it? Well, we never so had does, a weekend, man. so to us, we're finally at the end of the end of our week. Long work week. Is that why it feels like that? And I'm not doing away? a boohoo. Trust me, I'm just stating the fact. Are you going mm -hmm. away? Uh, yeah, I'll get out for a few days. Got some things. Where are you going? Uh, I'm gonna go hang out at uh, like a thing. A what? <laughs> I'm going to the. I'm going to Philly. For a day or two. Oh, that's right. Okay. Hang out ah. with the crew. Maybe see my family on Long Island for a few days. I'm going to be all over the place. I was invited down to Washington for Tiger Woods' uh, tournament. Did Tiger invite you? No, of course not. I met another one of your brothers at the show. Which one? Quinn? I don't know. You got 4,000 brothers. Y'all are like Indians. <laughs> but but uh, <laughs> he's like, actually, I, I, he's like, I, I like that guy. Yeah, he's he's very cool. <laughs> he's one, one young guy. He was hanging out with a bunch of young guys. He's Mike Quinn. Quinn has the personality I should have. <laughs> I liked him. He's all right. The other brother's a sociopath. Which one? Very Elmo? Uh, the, the one that does the uh, karaoke. Darren. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's he's not right. Yeah, we try to talk, but it just ends up always like... Uh, yeah, he's not right. Let, me just let you go kill somebody. <laughs> but he's uh, a cool guy. I liked him. I like your, your younger brother. He's like the normal one in the family. Normal job on Wall Street, you know. Did kids, I kids, house in the suburbs, what? One got black hair, though, right? Yeah, yeah, that's uh, Brett, who's Quinn's twin that you met. They don't even look like alike. They're, they're not, they're, they're paternal. Uh, or they're identical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that isn't identical. They're not identical. <laughs> right. <laughs> Quinn seems really normal, which is frightening. Well, Quinn... He probably he, likes feet. Now, Quinn's got his own issues. He likes toes. <laughs> But he only likes hammer toes. He can only get turned on to some of those hammer toes. That's lovely. Yeah. I've seen Quinn knock guys out twice his size. He's Which not, one is He's it? not right. He used to play rugby. Nice guy. But he's now... He's, oh, that's the guy I met that was... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, with the Wall Street. Yeah, his crew is, is his crew has definitely got a uh, oh, all those guys, description for roofies. Well, all those guys, they uh, played rugby together. They're kind of all, like, married with kids. But, you know, back in the day, not too many years ago, they they were always in crazy bar fights. Just And unlike you, he hangs out with different ethnic groups. I hang out with the ethnic groups. What, uh, German? No. You can't count different white groups. <laughs> <laughs> but Brett's the owner of F.H. Riley's. And you've been invited, but you haven't showed up yet. Because you don't go to Long Island. Oh. Yeah, you don't like it. You don't like the traffic getting out. You don't like anything about it, right? Those, the, yeah, Long Island is terrible. Um, the, the, the fucking, uh, it was interesting, though, meeting everybody's yeah. uh, people. That was fun. They're peeps. That was a good yeah. one. A lot of You had a lot of representation at... Uh, Yes, son. the girlfriend's parents were there. Bob Kelly said that uh, Lindsay fa Lindsay's father looks like a retired superhero. <laughs> yeah. he's, a good, he's a good looking guy. Like when he likes to, you know, he probably he has he has a lot of latent racism. He fought a lot of, he's fought black people his whole life, but now he's trying to just get over it. He's a guy. You're, he's a guy you should never mess with. He could get he, he, he could get some seems, things done. It seems like that's what I'm saying. He could get it's some just, things uh, done. Yes. He's just one of those guys that size you up, touch your shoulders, and see how strong you are, and all kind of shit. He's a yeah, he's a good guys. guy, and he's uh, he's a gypsy. Is he? What? He just uh, he just has this weird luck in casinos. Really? Strange really? weird luck. Yeah. He's sitting next to me. I'm telling him, I'm teaching him three card. I'm like, look, here's the deal with three card. You just got to grind out hands. Don't make. Crazy bets. Make the same bet for the most part every single time. Grind out hands and hope you hit 30 to 1 or 40 to 1 and then walk. So he's sitting there grinding out hands with me. I'm up, uh, you know, four or $500. I'm, I don't bet like Anthony. I'm just having a little fun, and he's doing the same thing. And then he hits 30. He gets three of a kind. Then we ah, walk. nice. It just perfectly played out. That was cool. I, uh, My stupid table had uh, 30 to 1, 30 to 1, 40 to 1. In, uh, in in an hour. 
And you that paid never for, happens. And you paid for it all, right? And that never happens in three card. I mean, yeah, that's odd. Because in another three card session, we played for three hours. Not one thirty to one came in or forty to one. Well, the weird thing is, all the cards come out in a row. It's not dealt regularly. It's like yeah. one, two, three for you. One, two, three for you. And that's the weird part because the odds of it being shuffled and getting like a, well, a straight flush. Yeah. If true. you get a regular straight, what is it? Six to one. Yeah. And then it jumps up to, and then there's not, no odds in between. It goes six to one, and then thirty to one, then forty to one. He and you can't that. survive just getting now. you can't survive just getting six to ones every once in a while. You're, uh, that's how they get you. A lot of people say three cards a sucker game, really? but if you could grind out hands and, and get one big hand, you should just walk. I enjoyed it. It was very fun. It was less serious. Oh yeah, you play one of my things. I don't like that, ser that serious shit. Motherfuckers get all after a while. It gets all creepy and quiet, <laughs> and that's how Anthony likes it. At that's the end it. of the show, you, you know, <sighs> at the end of the show, I walk over and I'm like, hey, you know, end of the show, and you're just like. Like growling like Quasimodo. I'm all serious, yeah. Keith is sitting there like, oh, why can't we just go somewhere? I was working. We were missing you at the three card table because you made it fun in Vegas because you just start pointing and laughing at the deal. Oh, I love that. You're like you're like seconds away from getting kicked out of uh, the casino. That's why we love hanging out with you. Well, I'm very careful about just like in airports. I just I know how to be an asshole. Ninety seven percent. Right. Just Don't crank it up thing. to the yeah to the Don't point where they throw you out. Say you can point at them, you can you laugh point. at them, you can call them bad luck. I watch white guys curse like pit bosses out, call them you muttonhead motherfucker, you bringing me bad luck. And there's nothing they can say about that. It's not there's nothing they can say if you call them a dick. You know. Yeah. It was it was it was it was cool, man. <laughs> your in laws are cool, man. I like I like your your oh. little crew and your Long Island. He was represented. Oh yeah, I had Long Island, my Long Island met, buds met and people. my brother cool. and it's cool shit. to meet people's families. Yeah, you know they come to the shows. Can we go to your barbecue now that we had a little thing? Now? No, my mother's no. gonna be. I don't want to meet you. Oh. Why? Just, I would love to talk to your mother. She'll be. She'll be. Uh, She'll be putting back the uh, the martinis. Oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> her and her crew. The matriarch of the family. Oh, She's got her crew? Her 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 pinky dab of vermouth. <laughs> and the rest is vodka. She'll just put vermouth in the bottle. <laughs> shove a couple of olives in. And then it'll just be fucking <laughs> just vodka. interesting time. My mother's like, we're trying to do this thing now. We love each other. And it's just like almost like a sword fight every time we try to say it, and it has to be the last thing said. Right. It can't be I love you in the middle. Oh, by the way, I love you, Ma. Anyway, I was watching the show. No, you ended like, with that. And I love you. The end. And another person got to go, mm -hmm. I love you. Well, why is it hard? We just weren't, we didn't grow up with that. We just, it was all implied. No. Just implied love. Implied. I mm. love you and you love Never me. Never spoken. Never that fucking I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> that explains a lot. <laughs> yeah. But it's just like, hey, we love you. You just explained seven years of uh, <laughs> of wonderment in my head. <laughs> that explains a, a lot. A wink of love to my mother. <laughs> oh my. You yeah. too, kiddo. That explains the the glass dildos. A, 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 no, no, the glass dildos come <laughs> from I just from, from lack of a uh, connection with other humans. No, yeah. No, no. <laughs> Thank you, Jimmy. I didn't. I didn't get. Secretly I didn't hoping fall the glass dildo breaks years. off. Oh. I didn't. I didn't formulate. At the right pussy year time, like my my high oh, school, is that what happened? like the when college and you know where you get most of your pussy, didn't get it. So I took mm -hmm. when I turned like twenty eight, that's when I started getting my pussy and started exploring. So that's where <laughs> fucking dildos came. <laughs> that was your idea of exploring. Let me get this fucking uh, hot formed sand and stick it in your twat. <laughs> That's exploring. It's, no, exploring is a little some, spanking. And yeah. Sometimes it's fucking. Sometimes it's very, very sensual. Those those fucking things. Is it? I traveled with you. I watched him. It's different with a for squares a, than it is for 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 professionals. In a Adidas <laughs> bag. The fucking the same way like athletes travel with cleats. <laughs> yeah. And fucking sweatpants. Because we are in a third world country. But you had to get that I, through my, security. Did they heart, check it out? I put it in my in my uh, in the plane bag. Uh, I picture him opening up like device angel. With like his tools. I'm very. Yes. Give, I was very giving over there, man. I bring costumes and 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 things. I was I was very giving, but it was just like because I couldn't pop the, the the Viagra like these guys, man. I'm hanging with guys that 
This fucker was had a past of Spencer full of Viagra. A <laughs> hundred milligrams a night. My head was. I, I had a headache and, and fucking I couldn't nose. breathe. No, tunnel it vision. I couldn't breathe. Everything was had blue tinge on it, and I was oh fucking three chicks a night, and I couldn't come. It was as big as a car. He would walk in and just be it, his giant pink balls just would be popping out full of blood. But my heart couldn't take that. I can't pop Viagra, so I had to have fun. And I couldn't fuck every day. And condoms. wait, wait, why can't you take the Viagra? Yeah, shit'll blow your, explode your heart. What, because of the diabetes, or because I'm f a fat guy and I'm almost forty, and you're not supposed to be popping something that takes blood from everywhere else and yeah, puts it in your dick. It increases your blood pressure. And like, I understand that, but the old guys are doing like the crazy. The old guys are because that's the fucking thing. Like they say. Guys start working out like when when they get if they get high blood pressure or diabetes or whatever affects your dick, that's when they start to work out. Once your dick is affected, then people that's all guys give a fuck about. <laughs> and the prostate thing too affects your dick. So when guys start their dicks getting affected, they're like all bets are off. I'm popping pills. Fuck my heart. Fuck my 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 blood pressure. My life. I'm gonna pop a pill and explode my heart just so my dick will stay hard. <laughs> And that's true. Viagra doesn't blow your heart apart. I have a good heart. It, not anymore. Uh oh. That's what I'm saying. Uh oh. Look at your body. It needs all the blood have everywhere. They said, have they said anything about Viagra no. being bad like that? It'll blow your heart up if you. Do you hear any time a motherfucker says if your dick stays hard for six hours or more, nigga, <laughs> go to the get in an ambulance and go see somebody. You know how much pressure you got to be pumping through yeah. your body to get that hard for, Yo, you, for a you day, day and a half. A fake stimulation, so your dick can't stop being hard. It's not even yeah. attached to your mind well, the anymore. Dick, the dick being hard is actually a side effect that they learned. It was something for your heart, I think. Viagra or something was was made for. It was for, it was something, for else. something else. Yeah. What uh. the, the guy EMT know for your head? What? Oh, I was oh, like the grow hair. He said Rogaine. Yeah, that was it. Okay, but it's not bad for you. I've, I've asked doctors. Dude, you no, know, you, you Viagra was to grow asshole. hair. Did it ever grow hair? Yeah, it grows hair on your heart. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, your heart looks has moss on it. <laughs> you got, it's crazy, but I was hanging out with guys that was popping that and buying it unprescribed from a third world country. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's some gangster shit. I'm, I just yeah. bought some glass dildos. I was and costumes. That's I think that's a little strange. That's but that's yeah. I gotta you, call them like I see. You think that's them. less yeah, I've, 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 crazy than popping third brought world your, Viagra? No, you no, brought I your don't, own costumes. For what, them. What kind of costumes? Little, I dress them up. They love like them. Like what? Nice. Like what? Like uh, little like Victoria's Secret yeah, numbers or like. Yeah, some real draws, dude. Not no fucking, not this. Because they walk around on the beach with panties on a stick. Like a lady will just have a stick and it'll just have panties on it. And they'll buy them. I had a, uh, I would buy real, I'd bring them some real, you know, Americanized shit. shit. Yeah. Did you ever. Uh, Matter of fact, I came back three know this? times and they, they would wear my shit that I brought them. Really? Wait, know. how do you know the, uh, the sizes? Of the women, or and, you're just and, picking out sizes and, of what you like. Well, you don't get underwear. You get you get the the suit, the stretchies. The yeah, from from it fits size such and such and such and such. Yeah. And then you just they, all right. Let's get some uh, Viagra info out for people. Let's go to Scott and Jersey. <laughs> Jesus, Patrice. And ask how old they are too when they look, man. It. I'll be honest. The phones have been very light today. People getting ready for the Fourth of July weekend. You talk about hearts exploding because of Viagra. <laughs> And tell yeah. me more. Tell me more. Emergency. Oh, I'm about man, to take emergency. one. You're not supposed to be fucking around. You got to be in we tremendous got, health to be taken. We got Viagra. some people freaked out, so let's get some info out there. Scott, what's up? What's up, boys? Goddamn, Patrice, I love you. But um, the 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 Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra, the whole class has vasoprotective properties. It's a vasodilator, so they're actually finding that. Those drugs are really good for your whole vasculature system. In fact, Viagra just got an indication for pulmonary hypertension. So they're actually, it's actually good for your whole body. It's a dilator where a constrictor causes, you know, uh, high blood pressure and bad things to the body. Dilator That's what I was thinking. You don't, you don't think that anything that that drastically... See, you got to understand... That's not something that's slow. See, when you're on high blood pressure medicine and shit like that, it slowly is getting your body used to something. You pop a Viagra, immediately your organs open up. That you think that's fucking good for you? Where right away your goddamn carotid artery opens up right a fucking way? Yes. Ah, you could tear it. 
just like it, it instead of slowly developing a, a blood flow, it just goes, "Hey, motherfucker, I'm open. Now I'm closed. Now I'm open. That's your heart fucking pumping and working, dude." Can Doctor Steve call in? We are Doctor Steve. I trust his opinion. He's a very knowledgeable guy. This guy seemed like he know what he was talking about, though. All right, but, but that's a guy. He sounds. You Hold know, on, we got a lot more calls. Let's go to Mike in Jersey. Mike. Mike. <laughs> yeah, what's up, right. guys? Love you, and uh, I love the show. Uh, Patrice, Viagra, that guy was wrong. Viagra lowers your blood pressure, so that's why it's dangerous for people that already have hypertension. You take Viagra Cialis, if you take too much of it, your blood pressure can drop unexpectedly. The whole erection for longer than four hours has nothing to do with your heart. That's just simply about the mechanics of how you keep your erection. Your <laughs> valves. Thank you. You have valves in your cock. And then they <laughs> they they fill up with blood and the valves shut. And then if the valves don't open, that's when you get that heart on that last for a while. There's something wrong with having but a I don't heart know if that Viagra does that. And you're not turned on. I just got a text. Pumping. I just got a text from a doctor. I said, "Does huh. Viagra fuck your heart up?" And this doctor said, "He goes, shouldn't. Why do you ask? People with heart disease shouldn't take it, but no evidence it causes that." And I, I'm, I'm fucking, like I'm diabetic. I oh, a heart be... disease then? That might so have a if you, I, that's what I said. Oh. you should be a healthy, healthy person, right. To put that in your body to keep your dick hard. I do but jumping jacks. Every if day. you don't, Jumping if your dick doesn't walk. get hard, you're not a completely healthy person. Then there's a problem somewhere. Could be mental too. Oh, that's true. Impotence. What? What's well, your problem? I don't have any problems. Why do you take Viagra? I don't take it now. What's he, he wanted, right now, the second that we're he on the radio, to fuck three <laughs> different women within like ten minutes. Yeah, I only, t I only take it like if I know I'm gonna be on a date with someone I don't know, and I want my cock just to rise to be impressive in my jeans. <laughs> like if I want to go, go ahead, just look at it in the cab. <laughs> look at the bulge, babe. And they think this guy's a fucking man. Norton, and Norton man. is packing though. He, he pulled it out one day at the, when we went there, yeah. and he Dude, was just packing. We went over this yesterday. If you're gonna be Norton's friend, you're gonna see him like naked. You're gonna see it's pretty much. Everything he has. Me, oh, yeah. And we casually talked about it yesterday. People were like, oh, that means you got your gay, your gay, your gay. No. It's like, no, every single fucking friend of Jimmy's has seen his penis. Me and Patrice were standing in a fucking, in a whorehouse. In, in a third world country, and we're sipping our diet cokes, and there's hookers all over, and guys that speak fucking Portuguese, and we're both wearing robes that are too short, and my I took a hundred milligrams, my dick was tenting, and I'm not horny, I'm, we're just both looking at my tenting dick and laughing. It was a moment where we both realized we're getting prostitutes for sixty dollars. And Norton's dick looks exactly like him. <laughs> like you just go, why is Norton just sit? And we would just sit there, but the I'm telling you, dude, that's why I fuck it. To bring it back, that's why I bring those things out because I want to partake every day. Yeah. And I'm a watcher, man. I love watching a girl come. I, my self esteem, I love to watch women nut. It makes me feel good about myself. So if mm -hmm. I get a, if I got my machinery and I can make a third world hooker attach with, by my detachment. Yeah. With the, with the con, with the dildos and the vibrators and shit like that. It turns me to fuck on when they really nut. Makes me feel good. Did they you fuck ever, seven guys a day. Did you ever like buy one? Like you said, you buy them like outfits or you, you get them outfits and they put them on and stuff like that. Did you ever like as they're, you're leaving or she's leaving think like, oh, I'm going to miss her. Uh, like I'm kind of like not like oh I'm in love with that girl but I'm kind you know of feeling dude, something for this her. Is, this is what changed my life about the place. I'm I'm having gone back in a year. It's close to two years now. But the thing that changed my life about it is the 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 way they devise a way to make you feel like they like you and you don't treat them like whores. They is something about it that when I first went. It was like butterflies. You buy into it. You just go, I got to get back this right away. Paradise. I went and went back in two months. I had to go back. And then <laughs> what I started realizing something, and this is where like, everything kind of got in my head about, wow, this is amazing. I would be in a nightclub full of whores, and they would look at you, and, and I felt like what a woman in a in a a regular woman feels like having a pussy my money was my pussy so the girls will be looking at me and i'll be trying not to catch eye contact with them because i'm like oh can you leave me alone i'm just enjoying my dancing i felt like how bitches feel in the club when oh, guys are looking man. and they don't want to get eye contact because they don't want to come over have you come over and so i had to say holy shit i had to get that out of my fucking head and learn how to really just enjoy 
a fucking world full of hookers. Not get hung up on yeah, that and they're not get liking you. And or... they would be act jealous, and then I would just start going, wait a minute, bitch. This ain't free. I'd be like, if you give it to me for free, you can be my girlfriend for the whole week. And she's like, no. And I said, well, shut up. Both you bitches, here's 50 bucks. And you both come back. <laughs> you sit in the chair while I build on this one. And <laughs> Keep your jealousy shit at home. Watching him open his robe. We were standing at this bar area. And he's fucking got Jesus, with that laugh. He's got a robe oh, on. I'm, bro, just, oh I'm my looking at God. you. I'm looking at his fucking face. <laughs> and Obi's like, good God almighty. Does it, do you relate to this at all? No. Nah. Is there any, fuck them traveling to a third world country. Just, do you relate to any filth at all? Partaking in any fucking dirt baggishness? Not in the way you guys dirt do. Dirt baggery. I mean, what yeah. is your dirt baggery, man? What is That's it? It's a hell of a lot more normal than yours. With, uh, without without having a girlfriend, all that, just your personal shit. What's some dirty shit? What's mm -hmm. your dirty shit? You you keep sharing. You motherfucker. <laughs> I ain't playing your game. It ain't no game I'm playing. <laughs> I'm just telling you what I did. <laughs> you, oh. I, honestly, the the whole hooker thing with me, never, I never felt that ever. Yeah, but Brazil's ever. I'm not a big hooker guy. Brazil's ever. A different like thing. paying for mm. paying for sex, that whole thing, I don't get it. Watching him open I, his robe and fucking watch one of the hottest girls I've ever seen. Little bit little girl braces that was dancing. Yeah. She, oh. And he opens his robe and he puts his arm around her and she just starts sucking his nipple. <laughs> it was Jesus. It was beautiful and repugnant at the same time. <laughs> it was violating on some level. <laughs> and she's just got one arm around one and one arm around the other. It was just like, this is what an emperor feels like. This is what it's like. It really is See, like to but be being, emperor. It's like See, being the king of Rome. It really was. All right, Patrice, I, I'm back in. This is this is my problem. Like uh, That's why I, I get uh, kind of turned off by strip clubs. I, 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 I'm not into the whole... Uh, I, I'm gonna make believe I I I, I like you. I, I I'm not into the uh, I'm gonna make believe that I want to have sex with you. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, but that's there's not... something mentally about that that takes me right out of the game. Like if I have to pay for the sex, I'm like she's she's doing it because she's trying to make some cash. Like the strip clubs with the lap dances, I'm like, oh, this girl could give a flying fuck about me. But it's the same thing. And, and I'm not saying that's normal, but that's what get that takes me out of the game. I understand that, but like say. I, I mean, I, it's uh, much more of a turn on for me if if the girl wants me. It's some real square I'm thing. some real shit. But see, I get but off. But I can't go with that fake shit, like knowing that the only reason she's doing it is because of the money but being exchanged. But here's why I give, here's what the great thing is. You give them, see, I don't play around with the money. Like, I don't play with the, I, I know what it is. So I mm. give them the money. It's almost like if you want to have sex with a girl right away and she fucks you right away. You, she's giving you essentially what a guy wants, and then she can now explore something else. I give her the money. Now she don't have nothing else to do but be real, because I like to talk and 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 I like to be bigger than the money. That's what I I like to be. Fucking a bitch go. This motherfucker's cool. I'm gonna take his his goofy money, but at the <laughs> at the same money. point. I'm a, this chick's gonna fuck, I'm better than, than the 150 bullshit ass dollars I'm gonna give out. And, and this is only in Brazil. I don't fucking, like the cat house and all that shit. I'm not paying mm. 800 f for some phony bitch. See, the thing is, the experience out there, why motherfuckers get on a plane and fly 10 hours, it's a different experience over there, dude. Oh, I understand. Different People experience. do it like crazy. It's, it's working. But I'm just saying, in my world, I get, I get taken out of the game. Can I go to a strip club and check out some, you know, some fine pieces you're of ass? Of wrong, course. You're saying the but wrong when, thing, strip clubs, dude. You, you it, strip it clubs, like, like the whole like paying for sex. I, it, it's not a turn on uh, to me. But you, you, have you ever in your life gotten pussy that you didn't invest in monetarily? Oh, that besides old, high that old gag, but I'm talking it's about not an old gag. You take but her I'm, out for dinner, you give her time, you give her talking, you give her everything else, Opie, and then the bitch still may or may not like you. At least you can get what you want out of the... It, it's a fucking... At least making a deal. An honest want, exchange. Yes. Oh, we're in different worlds. What can I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> what if What if the money that you're spending 
Uh, why does it always have to be some kind of down payment for pussy? It, it is what, what if it it's, is. But what if it's you're hanging out? Uh, what you're if having it's just a like good, hanging with a girl? You're having a good time. Who the yeah. fuck I likes swear. hanging with a girl? That's not... <laughs> that, that, See, till that's, you... Wait. You're a till, cave... But you're a caveman. Till, I'm not thinking, you, till you look, are with her. I'm not thinking platonic relationship Dude. here. Eventually, you're fucking. But what about... Uh, the uh, beginning phases or something, your uh, your relationship, maybe friends that are turning into fucking fuckmates, and you're spending money, but you, you're having a good time, you're hanging out, not watching the game or doing any shit like that. I'd it's, rather pay me, for a hooker and then hang with Keith and laugh. That it, that's I'm, I, <laughs> you know, I'm not you know that's I mean, how you guys just, think. I'm, I respect yeah. that. Women but always, have you ever gone on a date and it just was cool to be on a date with someone, you or, or you were frustrated because like, you weren't getting sex at the end of it? I don't. Here's what I don't like. I don't, and I, and I'm very honest with it. If I'm hanging out with a girl, I don't like can't fucking. I don't mind not fucking. I don't mind. I don't like we mm. can't. I don't like a bitch putting a stipulation uh -huh. on fucking like making fucking more important than my time or this or this food. Like I asked the girl, I said, look, I said, look, let's mess around a little bit. We attracted to each other. She says, well, I don't really have casual sex. So I said, well, I don't really have casual conversations, bitch. <laughs> so why is your casual my casualness? Less important than your casualness. It's, it's not. That's what I'm saying. That shit is not caveman. It's oh, no, just no. being honest. How many bitches do you hang out with? I'll be honest with funny you. And you and as funny as your friends. I've never gone out on a date with a girl where I didn't want to fuck. Thank you. It wasn't like, hey, this is great. You know, I'll see you again. Maybe we'll go to the theater next week. Maybe we'll play I've chess. I've wanted to. Yeah. You want to fuck. But there have been nights where you didn't fuck and you you, you had a good time. You, di you didn't fuck, but you... It, it was better than can't fuck. Like she didn't go. She didn't go. Listen, I don't. You know, I don't right, know what right. this is about. Exactly. Give you the speech about how you're not gonna fuck. Right. But we never give a speech about. Hey, you're not gonna have dinner. Hey, listen. Uh, I don't want this to be about dinner and movies. I just want this to be about. You know, blah blah blah. That's what I'm saying. It's like it's not a caveman. I usually thing. don't make the move until it's a short thing. Like I'm a fucking. I'll be like on the campaign trail. And how much investment fucking, did you do I, up till then? I'll do some investing and stuff, but I'll make sure it's a sure thing, and then, you know. You either gotta hold them up or hold them down. And, and 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 I'm not gonna I'm not gonna invest if I know I'm gonna get turned down. You either got. Right, hold on, we got a guy's gonna agree with you and 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 me here. Uh, Don in Vegas, go ahead. Yeah, Opie. Okay, so Opie, I can understand what you're saying about the hookers. Um, you're. Uh, like they're all out to get you cash, and that's about it. And I had, I actually had sex with this crazy German bitch over in, uh, in Kiel, Germany, and uh, she was actually telling me about her boyfriend while I'm nailing her, and I was like, "What the hell is this?" So, but when I went to Poland, had sex with this like three chicks in one night, like Norton, and uh, these chicks were crazy, and I would have taken all of them home, but they were Polish chicks not, are very sexy, they, right? Badass bad chicks too. Yeah, all right. That was uh, a story uh, that kind of stopped in the yeah. middle. Opie, I'm into the square thing like you. See, I'm not in disagreement with him. I just, my philosophy about it is that, okay, if I if if the game is money, if you have with some hooker and she wants money, I give her money so she don't have to worry about thinking about it because I equate how she feels about money to how I feel about pussy. I really <laughs> am going to be thinking about... Fair exchange. How, Right, my my behavior is always contingent not on whether this bitch thinks we're gonna be friends, but whether or not she's gonna stay liking me enough to fuck me. That's the relationship. So once the money is laid out, that decision's made, everything's done. She got what she wants. Right. right now, I can now if you having sex with a woman, it, and or if you're not having sex with her, you're waiting around, sitting around on some weird behavior. Hoping that she makes a decision, and then what it is is they hold out on it, and they keep you hostage, and they do this and do that, so that maybe they force you to like them. That's what I'm saying. It's a that's the thing about it. That's is that's the part I I don't like is the is that pussy is fucking above really sex is more important than to a woman because it's harder to satisfy a woman than it is a guy we'll stick our dick in any hole and and basically go hmm. 
jerk off, fuck a fuck a cattle or whatever the fuck a guy do. But, but, <laughs> I do. <laughs> but to, to, for a woman to have a good orgasm, that's a talent that you have. It's more important that that our sexual part of it is more important than theirs. Yeah. I'm, that's what I'm trying to be. We're the, pretty much one moving part. Yes. When the women need all kinds of gadgetry being, right. you know, pulled and manipulated. And Never bought pussy time. ever. Nope. You ever bought pussy? I could honestly say never. Never bought pussy. Never went to it. First of all, back in back in the day, going to a hooker meant uh, some fucking chick was gonna spit a razor blade out and slice your throat <laughs> in some back alley. Like, like fucking Fort Apache the, the Bronx. Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> the chick with the fucking pants. Pam Greer. Yeah. Pam Greer was going to slice my throat or whatever the fuck. I didn't need that shit. This place was a fucking shithole. Fort Apache. It wasn't like walking into some nice place and getting some nice broad. Dude, you fucking blue collar son of a bitch. You never pussy. Pussy. I never, I never did. It's a high to give somebody money. It's almost like whenever I have money, the most wonderful thing to do with it is to somehow get me laid with it. So when I hand it to a girl... And just know, like, if I pull my cock out, she'll just suck it. It's so dirty and fucking sexy to well, pull your I, dick out for, in front of a girl. Like, here's your money. Just that doesn't do anything for you. Like, I'm just, just gonna suck it. Just the just the feeling of a mouth on your dick. Just for, but let's say for you a get, couple of bucks. But let's say you can get that without the money. But then they don't just leave after. Like after, like there's I, a price to pay, and it's, oh, your, it's uh. your life. If a girl says, "I'm gonna suck your dick," and then amps gray, how do you feel about that? <laughs> no money needed. <laughs> But I love it when they have a driver who's waiting. I don't, <laughs> I, I don't think this counts. You know, they got places to be. But I had a sexcapade uh, with a uh, with a, a stripper at a at a strip club. Okay. But I I didn't pay her for it. it doesn't count. Like, I, you know, I, I was slipping. It was like you know a few bucks here and there. But then when she was done, uh, we sat at the bar and kind of hooked up. That doesn't count. That's, that's, that wasn't paying for sex, but I'm, you know. That's a coup, actually. Oh, Kevin. That's a great coup. Kevin from Texas. Is it a bachelor party? That's great. We've heard this many times. Hookers don't get paid to come; they get paid to go. Sometimes away. they do, but sometimes you want you. And there's a lot of people agreeing with you, Patrice. You know, I'm just. I mean, I'm just being. I know I'm not. A, I'm not disagreeing with you on that, but there's a there's a fucking animal side that I'm just trying to have a conversation with the dude side, and uh, like like every dude. Is hookers and pimps? That whole world is interesting to everybody. Every guy wants to know what it's like to be a pimp, other than smack a bitch in the face and make her sell her pussy and give you the money. The psychology it's the, it's it. the manipulation of having enough mouth game to say, "Okay, bitch, you give your pussy away uh, for money, and then give it all to me." Hmm. It's an interesting thing. And then women are like always going, "Jesus, some struggling beautiful woman out there is going, I have an asset that is is." I'm not using for what this yeah. shitty thing called dignity, and she wants to know what it's like to sell pussy. It's a, it's such a, a primitive thing that we tap into. We, there's no way no can, people don't think about it. Can you get laid on your own? What? I'm just asking. Of course. On your own? On my own? Yeah. Yes. But you don't want? I'm amazing. I don't. I. It, it's just like sometimes, like the first time me and my girl did a threesome. She, she was dancing around it, dancing around it, and God bless the fact that there was a Puerto Rican girl out there that sells pussy, and she's a bisexual, and I called her up and I said, let's get my girl to open up in the direction where she needs to. <laughs> where she needs to. <laughs> so, bing bong, coming in, it's in her face, a trooper is born. Now we can go do the square thing. God bless women who want to do that. I don't want every woman to have fucking integrity and fuck up my life. <laughs> That's why there's a goddamn place called Fantasy Island that we call Rio de Janeiro with the with a mixture of every beautiful part of every woman. A black woman's body, white woman's fucking eye color and hair, Puerto Rican's uh, t uh, body color. They're every chick that you ever, they're gorgeous. And they sell pussy for $4.99. And you go over there and you treat them like princesses and they treat you like kings. It's not hooker ho shit. Not like the bitches that were here that time. Like, yeah, $700 and then for an hour. These bitches pretend to be your girlfriend 
all night. They stay with you because they live in a shack. So they'll stay in your hotel room so they can have a nice shower and hang out. It's a good fake job. Right now, there's planes backed up on runways heading <laughs> yeah. to fucking it's Rio. It's a good fake job. Patrice is doing one. a great commercial they for fucking the tourism lot. board down they there. They sell you what you want to buy. And that's why I came from there when I traveled there. My mentality got harder because I'm like... All the chicks here have to do is sell you what you want. All right, now I'm really confused because, uh, like, I, I understood what Jimmy was saying. Like, you, you get a hooker, you have you have sex with her, and then you go hang out with your friends. You're done with this person. Sometimes. You don't want to you don't want to hang out with the girl unless you care for them after you have sex. So you want <clears> you want them gone. But in your case, they're staying the whole night. But I'm also with him and too. They're all I staying also, the whole night. So you've like, had girls stay the oh whole night, God, and you're like yeah. that. I, I actually fall well, in love I'm with hookers now. here too. It's, Dude, it's I, different highs. You, you, what? You, how old are you? In your somethings? Yeah. Okay. He's Thirty-seven. Yeah. All right. So, look it. I'm, I've come Almost to this 30. realization, and this is just as it is what it is. Twenty-three-year-old women find me not to be a sexual entity no more. I, no matter how cool I try to be, Wait, no, no matter how much I try to iron my clothes. When did they? It, when I was 22. <laughs> oh, shit. When I was like a 22-year-old kid, I was like, but 37, they just, I'm not, you know, they just, I'm, a, I'm attractive to women my age. They like me. But when you go to Brazil, it's a 23-year-old that'll sit there with the calmness and the and, and the seasoning of a 37-year-old that'll sit there and let you just look at how beautiful she is with a fucking blonde um, hair from being tanned and shit. They're just gorgeous in those green eyes and that beautiful skin. And they're sitting there drinking a coffee. And you from everyone, and we're all sitting around laughing like this. Now imagine a sexy twenty-two-year-old is sitting right next to you. Every couple of seconds while we're having a good time, you just tap her thigh and go, "Good girl," and she'll go and drink a little coffee. And you're like hungry. Yes, she's eating. They be they um they tap into something that one day. Maybe you'll know what it is. I can't explain it. They just know how to tap into something real fucking Jurassic. <laughs> they make you feel wanted and sexy and comfortable. They make you feel like that's what it's like to be Brad Pitt all the time. To have attractive women reacting to you that way, not feeling rushed. Not feeling like, will they fuck? But you, A, you know they're going to fuck you. B, you know they'll stay or go, whatever you want. All right, so have you ever felt that without the, the hooker thing? Sure, I've With just a regular woman. Sexuality. Well, okay. if you fuck a girl... Regular woman, whatever. If you like fuck a, a girl today, right. dude, there's a price on your time. It's rare. It's re Only groupies will fuck you right now. And go, thank you. Don't you love it? Because they would have to go this. This is a groupie. What a groupie's thinking to herself is, you know what? This guy, his time is so much more valuable than my pussy. I'm just going to give it to him, and I'm going to leave. He's more valuable than me. But some women think my pussy is as valuable as this guy's entire existence. So I'm going to fucking, I'm going to, if he fucks me, I'm going to get something out of this. And the something the Brazilian girls will get sometimes is, is some cash. And you don't give it to them like, here's your pussy. You're giving it to them like, the bitch lives in, in a fucking hut on top of a hill. And she's, she's letting a mess like me or a mess like him and a mess like the guys we hang out with, like, be sexy. And, and what we do for them is treat them with complete love. And I get mad because I want to stay here and not fly 10 hours to treat women with that, that degree of love. When they don't understand, fucking, you're selling it anyway, bitch. Here's a couple of dollars. Now just act right. <laughs> act right. When are you doing Black Phillip again? I did it a couple of weeks ago. I'll do it probably in a mm -hmm. month or so. All right, yeah. I mean, this is the type of thing Patrice uh, got oh, yeah. on, on his show. And, Shines. And it is very interesting. Absolutely. I'm not saying you're wrong. No, I'm, I'm not, just trying to. And I, I'm not disagreeing I like, with you, dude. I, I, I like learning about other people's worlds. That's one of my things. I love that, but, you know, I'm trying to understand. Yeah, I mean, it's, there's some evil down in there. I'm gonna find out. Everyone has some evil, some of section, course. Some, some deviancy. I'm, I'll find out. Everyone has some I'm evil. I'm sure you got some a woman like every single person trunk. listening to us has evil. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's do some lines of the day and get out of here. We got a runner-up uh, line of the day here. Oh, they probably caught it. They probably caught it fresh on that show, anyway. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, ours nice have been sitting fresh. in a, a just, supermarket waiting for a brave soul to oh, buy it. Oh, jeez, you probably get some like some other letter coli. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. L coli. <laughs> some other letter coli. <laughs> That's really good. 
Stand Up New York, Friday and Saturday. Yes, Patrice O'Neill. Here's another runner-up line of the day. <laughs> now it's pickled duck foot. Uh, duck. Duck foot. Duck foot. <laughs> duck <laughs> foot. <laughs> Jesus. Ooh. Is it mispronounced? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Oh, my have to hurt the boss. I, I didn't. What happened? What happened? To hurt Anthony. What happened? I don't care. I don't like it. What happened? I had to bounce somebody for um, saying mean things about Patrice. What'd they say? Was it? <laughs> no, no, actually it wasn't. I wouldn't have bounced him. <laughs> yeah, how could you bounce the admin? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody apparently, you know, bored with the show. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, you're bored with it, then don't listen. And if you don't want to turn it off, I'll turn it off for you. There you go. Goodbye. You listen for, for, for <laughs> nothing on Pal you Talk pretty much. The way we there you go. All right, here is your line of the day. Hear it? <laughs> 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 oh, oh, oh. What does it taste like? Oh. Sheep testicles. <laughs> <laughs> Darn. <laughs> and there you have it. Uh, yeah. All right. Thank you, Patrice. Absolutely. Thank Thanks to the guy that was boiling up our crap for our uh, our boiled barbecue. That was disgusting. That really was. I think it was a great success. Don't forget to check out Big Boy uh, made, made or Make. Makes a Duty. Big Boy Makes a Duty on Make.com and all the other websites. <laughs> Kevin Smith wasn't a fan of that one, but he was a fan of Baby Bird. I think you like the shift school because it's disgusting. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a fine video. We're trying to get it up on Break.com, but they have like uh, corporate people they have to answer to. So yeah. We might lose that battle. All right, guys. Uh, we'll see you on Monday. Have a great Fourth of July. Yes. And uh, keep it safe. What are they going to be Someone playing? Someone I want to say hi right now. I want to say hi to the uh, person or people that are listening that will be listening to us next live without a hand. <laughs> hi. How are you? Um, Look at your hands. One. Might be missing. Nah, they 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 keep it safe now. Yeah, every year some idiot looks into that pipe when that mortar goes off and loses half his head. Uh, <laughs> is it lit, dude? You look <laughs> on the XM side. This is what they're playing: Crazy Lynn, Anthony's daughter, Limo oh, Anthony getting that. kicked off the show, Crazy Irene, Barry Williams' first visit, Ben Stein attacks. Oh, uh, Bang Bastard. Bang go crazy. Anthony hates kids. George Wallace meets Stalker Patty. Jim Brewer, the famous razor rollerblade scooter bit. Oh, classic. First run of the Voyeur bus with Lewis Black and Stephen Lynch, uh, Lynch disrupting David Blaine's frozen and ice stun in Times Square. That's a good one, yeah. Teen Voyeur bus will be uh, aired on Friday. That's a, one of the greatest shows we've ever done. Then the Afro sh uh, show later that night with Ron and Fez. Uh, day after Voyeur bus with uh, Dice and Norton. And uh, Jim Brewer doing some neighborhood fireworks on Friday. And Mommy, what would you do for tickets? The famous Coochie Fireworks. Oh, it's a great one. We got lots and lots, lots of good uh, shows for you guys, and we'll see you on Monday. Bye. Bye. Holiday. Yeah.